The main appeal of this movie was like the the FNAF brand, yes. and they couldn't really. I mean, like I think base level foundational. I think it's actually really good. Has a lot of potential, but it, nothing is built up. Nothing was earned. That was that my was thing, that yeah. was the that was the problem. No, <laughs> but hold on, the credit, dude, the credits are gonna be credits? crazy. Are there you just, any you just don't credit anybody because you don't want to be associated that's with this it. film. That's, that's the credits. <laughs> you don't want to be associated. That that's uh that was that was a short film. That was it was a short film. It was it was that, it's true. It was something. That, that, it Jesus. was really something. Exists. You stayed up until four a.m. for that. Yeah. Four a.m. That was worth it. It yeah. was how, worth how, it. How's all the money? Treating you nowadays. Um, you know, a little too well. A little too well. A little well. too well. From yeah. staying up for four a.m. to edit a yeah. FNAF. It was too remake. Worth it. it was too worth it. As I understand. Yeah. Also, I I I, I did a little thing. What'd you do? Um, a little thing. What'd you do? Oh! I don't know if you can see oh. it on, on, on oh, screen. Oh boy! Oh, okay, wait. Can we find out if they can? Can make it, yeah. Uh, that makes everything better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can a little bit. You can a little, a little bit. I look. Yeah, I look a little pink right now. I could. I you could look tell. pink. Fuck, hold on. There we go. Got That's right. For audio, <laughs> for audio listeners, we have a little light set up on the floor, and that's red. Because it's spooky season. Spooky. It's, it's Halloween. Spooky. Even though it we're is. filming this in, like, the middle of the day, so it's, like, it's still very... Imagine weird. you can't even see it on our faces. I'll just I'll just turn it red in, in post. That'd be so funny. <laughs> I just shoot yeah. up the saturation. No, yeah, just make it, make, us, make it red. Blood red. But, yeah, um, Halloween app. Added some, I Halloween. also had some spooky stuff to the set. This is a real human skull. You didn't say the famous where words, though. Where is the though. human skull? I don't see it. Welcome, Welcome to the Squabblers podcast. podcast. Oh, my God. Wait, where's the skull? I can't see it. Oh, I see it now. Is that my aunt? There's also, there's, there's also one right behind you. Oh, they're behind you. Wait, oh, yeah, I saw this one. This guy. I saw this one. At first, I didn't recognize him when I sat down, and I was like, what is this? Yeah, he's a little guy. Oh my goodness, it's the person we both killed. Yeah. Oh, I see what's going on. Look at the hair. We had two different conversations again, by the way. We already fumbled. It's not even five minutes. Just ISO, ISO your mics. <laughs> Our conversations are Yeah, I had a feeling. Also, yeah, oh. my, my, my conversations are always goaded, so. Yeah, I don't think you, know. you wanted to even hear our conversation. I heard something about your aunt or something. Yeah, what? I don't. Don't even. No, but don't yeah, even worry so about it. So, what is your Halloween costume? Okay, like? our Halloween oh costumes my God, yeah. are the very FNAF. different. The FNAF movie. It's the mask from the movie. Oh my god. Look at that. It's the Bonnie mask. You can buy our merchandise at Target for $15. <laughs> <laughs> that's for $15. They were they're they got, on sale for 10 actually. Yeah, Get shit. it while it's hot. They got like this Ooh. weird Even though we bought the like, That's cheap. So I thought yeah. this was like you just cut this off. Cheap. You yeah. don't. You yeah. don't like. We got the last ones. No, you do. You, you want me to show you how to do it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw yeah, it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Just trade masks. Okay. Because it has like a weird like you wire this setup. Off. Oh, he's a professional. Okay, this wire is meaningless. Um, okay. See these wires? Yeah. This shit actually connects. There's a little egg in here. Like, why they put an egg in here? What? What the fuck is what? that? There's an egg yeah. inside of the mask. I know. Wait, but is it because the eyes glow red? Probably, but we don't. Oh, we don't care. We don't Bro. care. Um, yeah, they do wait, glow. They do. Oh, they, they glow. Wait, show it off. Show it off. Show it off. Wait, wait, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. glowing. Oh, it passed me that. It passed me that. Okay, mine didn't do that. Oh, get shit on. <laughs> yeah, because you ripped it out. I don't even remember what I did. Yeah, give me, give okay, me my mask back. Let me That's try. Big catch. Yeah, did I'm pretty sure. I just, pretty oh, sure oh I somehow God. managed to take the thing out. There's still, yeah. no, there's still, you still have the egg. Is you it still ripped though? I still have the egg, but I'm not sure if I have the. Wait, hit it. Just yeah. Hey! Oh, hey! Let's go. The oh, mask low. That was a very cord. nice head. Yeah, I know. That was actually crazy. That was great. What? What? It's really funny that you guys had the same exact thing. Yeah, they got the lazy fuckers. I just bought it out of Target. Listen, these were the <laughs> cheated. The oh, real two masks. Only masks that they had. They were the last two masks. That's that they really had. funny. The other one was like, they had other masks, but they were free only if you bought something else. Yeah, so, oh, or like, and we no. couldn't make the FNAF movie without these. Oh, <laughs> wait! I gotta put my. The audience gonna be shit mind. if you wear that. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh my God, you're scared. Whoa, I'm scared. Wait, I need a picture of this. I'm scared picture. for my safety. Like gangster, <laughs> face face gangster. Hey, give me this. Give me this. Give me this. recognition is definitely working right now. Wait, it, Yo. is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'm trying to actually find the camera. Doesn't oh your God. iPhone? Did you not get the camera? Wait, 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 wait doesn't your iPhone take photos of you like every five seconds? Like. A, 
does it? What? I'm, pretty, what? I'm pretty sure I saw a video. I don't know if that's true. Like, okay. I saw a video where it's, it's like, like it takes pictures of you every five seconds. I had no idea. If you take, like, a, right um, I forget what you do, but if you take, like, a uh, certain type of camera and you turn off all the lights in the room and then you try and focus it towards the iPhone, it will show you that it's like. Huh. I don't know if it's true or not. You literally just hit, you, this is the second time you've done that. Also, did you, did you get the photo between Sam and I? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, thank God. We're going to put that on the Insta. We'll, we'll throw that up somewhere. Awesome. But yeah, so Kaylee, what, what, what's your outfit? I decided that I've never been this before, so I decided to be a hippie. You're already a hippie. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's it. Oh, sick. <laughs> so I, um, I am Wayman Wang. Everything, ever, all at once. I'm a small fan of the movie. It's an indie title. Small. Yeah, I don't think you ever. Small. You know, we never brought it up. Small fan. Yeah. Small. Wait, I, I haven't brought it up yet. We never brought it up in the pod. Yeah. How uh, have you never brought it up? I lied. It literally came up last episode. That's like a good 20 minutes we talked about. It was a, <laughs> it was a long fucking It was a time. long segment. But no, yeah. um, I got... It's not perfect, obviously, because first off, these pants don't really fit me too well, but they're, they're, they're comfortable enough. Um, they still drippy. Wait. I, okay, keep going. I, I have... um. They be drippy. There, there's supposed to be a... What's it called? The keychain for this that I didn't buy. And he's also... I could have bought the... What's it called? Like the ear pieces, but uh, I don't know. Just I use your actual... Yeah. They're over there. They're over there. Um, speaking of, uh, what's the actor's name who plays him? Kei Kwan. He's in Loki season two right now. Shit, now I have to watch it. He is, and he is amazing as Obi. I'm gonna say that right now. He is amazing at Obi. He's he's Obi. Yeah, he's Obi. Oh shit. So it's Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, no. Oh wait, I was actually thinking about. I'm it. actually genuinely asking. No, I was actually. No. Saying, <laughs> no. I, was, I actually thought you were talking about Obi Wan too. Really? Because I because no, I watched my first Star Wars movie literally oh. a, like a week ago. Wait, seriously? Which wait, which one? Uh, fuck! It's the one where Darth Vader blows up the fucking Queen Leia's home planet, and then the first four. one. It's yeah, like, four. Huh? four. 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 What did you think of it? It was good. Um, the funny thing I is, know. I actually thought you guys were, and I didn't realize you guys were actually, actually because, like, Because, okay, I literally got, get bullied whenever I tell people that I haven't watched a Star Wars movie, <laughs> okay? Because I was, I'm, I, I was in a film story class, and they're like, we're gonna watch Star Wars today, I'm like, alright, now f- I, I can finally get around to it, you There know? you go. There now, you go. I will say, he is amazing. Obi is, like, Ouroboros, um, that's his actual name, but everyone okay. calls him Obi. That's actually a sick name. Um, it has something to do with um, snake or a bonus. I mean, means like it means like a cent- like circle. A cycle. It's a snake eating. Yeah, itself. and that's like his name. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm. But Loki season two has been amazing. It how many like how many episodes one. is it? Um, it's on episode four right now. I recently watched it, so spoil spoil alert here. Um, I think that episode four was so good. How they tied in episode one. How they used everything. And it's just kind of, it's been like a very nice thing. It's going to be six episodes. So I have two oh, episodes okay. left. Oh, wow. Only two, two more episodes left. That's going to be really funny. The last episode comes out right before Captain Marvel 2. Oh, interesting. I interesting. just found out my mic is uh, not, was not, like, it was working, but it's really low. So now it's back. We're back. Oh, shoot. We're back. Finally. We're back. Someone else gets the spotlight. One. All right. Hey, Damn. Sam got his first short. He That's did. true. Did. And it didn't do too bad. It, it didn't good. do it too bad. The, uh, the crypto one. Right. Oh yeah, They'll I was worried that a lot of crypto bros were gonna find that and be like, <laughs> yeah, actually, it's not a crypto it. works. Or yeah. like crypto bots. Being yeah, well, like, I was like, like I, I was like four, so I will hundred like, percent agree. That's my same thought that came to mind when I was a kid about crypto. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, I'm not the only one. I, I like didn't understand it. I know, right? It didn't make weird. any sense. It still doesn't make any sense. Let's be honest. Fuck crypto, unless they want to sponsor us, then you know. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm well, kidding. anything for the bag, actually. If they're offering up a not a, not a bag. virtual bag though, not a virtual I will, bag. I will say I think like we definitely have a price. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be fake and be like we'd never like if someone's like I'll give you a hundred grand I'm like yeah bro if, if honestly if, if I if I reject that I feel like people get mad at me. It's like you literally had a fucking hundred thousand dollars. You'd be like crypto's cool. Yeah, don't take that. By yeah, the way. Crypto's cringe. That Fuck better me. be in USD though, and not like Ethereum or like. <laughs> Well, okay. Better be to U.S. Be fair, dollars. If it's, if it's like Ethereum, if they give you a hundred grand in Ethereum, we just sell it instantly. That's true. And like fuck off. You know? Unless it like plummets the second you sell you it. Get it? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Yeah. No. Pay in, in USD. Facts. Anyways, uh, the reason we're all gathered here on a Saturday instead of a Thursday, and I'm gonna take uh, two Ooh. days. Uh, I have two days instead of four days to edit the podcast. What oh the? yeah. Um. There was a very big movie that came out was. recently. Or 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 or, 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 or it's or, uh. Or. The FNAF movie. 
Big uh, movie. Phenomenal movie. Oh my god. Movie. It's a really good fucking box office. Really? It's, How much did yeah, it Yeah, it made more than... It made like 10.3... More like than in its opening day. That's not bad. Which is more than Oppenheimer. Budget, like a million more. The budget is also like not that crazy. So 20 like million. they made a lot. Twenty? That's what I yeah. remember, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Twenty million was the budget? Makes sense. Makes sense. Two o mil. That's surprising. Like, mm. I know there's a lot of fans. I'm not that much of a fan, so like I know some things, but you know, but I still think that's very surprising. But a lot of movies have been doing really good that we don't expect to do really good in the That's box true. office. It's estimated to do 78. Wow. Through, through the weekend. Jeez. That's crazy shit. Our, our the weekend. Is. My God. 50 M. That's crazy. 50 yeah. M fucking I mean, this it. movie has been in the works since 2015. i have changed over. I think it started with Warner Bros. And then they changed it over to Blumhouse. Yeah. That's such a good fucking idea, by the and way. Blum is so good. They're just like, it's been through... <laughs> Dozens of rewrites and reshoots and whatnot. Yeah, and because finally it's been out. a development hell for like it, nine yeah. years. They, eight years. It's like a pizza that just kept getting reheated. Exactly. It's sure. <laughs> sure. It's good that some movies are um, in production longer because then it makes the movie better. It's true. Yeah, but the thing is, Sometimes. there are a lot of movies that like are in production hell and they just never leave. Like, there's supposed to be a Watch Dogs movie. Yeah, I mean, production hell is a very yeah, good place. Nah. True, it's not the best thing, but sometimes it's good for a movie to have that someone else it. come in and be like, mm, I don't really like, like that, let's change that. Or, yeah. mm, I, like, and it gets better and better as it goes. Yeah. Like you with this podcast. Oh my god, that dude, this podcast was kind of in production hell. <laughs> 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 did I, did, I haven't told you too much about like how long it took us to get off the ground, have we? No. We'll talk about that after. Remind, remind, remind me to bring that up because okay. I don't want to take too long to answer. It all yeah. started with a joke from me. Yeah, that, that's that mm-hmm. is true. A lot of the projects that I'm on actually start from jokes. But anyways, um, let's talk about FNAF. I'm going to start with like a little bit of background for people who just aren't familiar with the FNAF franchise and, at all. It's going to be a little, little little bit sappy, but like FNAF was a big part of a lot of people's childhoods because it was one mm-hmm. of the biggest. No, it was the biggest indie game. Um, yeah. To come out in at the time and arguably of all time, I can't really think of anything that surpassed an indie ga- indie game on YouTube. Con- yeah, considering like how big this franchise has yeah. gotten, I don't think there's I think anything. A, a far, far, far number two is like Undertale. Yeah, that's a fucking the like, and I'm not saying this we should talk Undertale, but like the biggest thing it's done is like in Mela- in uh, Ultimate, in, in uh, Ultimate, there's the Me Fighter. Oh yeah, there's Sands in Sands Smash and, Ultimate, Smash, but like. Cool. Wait, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, Even still, that. like that's not Undertale, big, but like it's not I'm, uh, nearly uh, as close. As yeah, Undertale that. doesn't have like a movie and like a triple A, you know, and tons of merchandising. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. It's everywhere. Too much under not enough tail. Facts. Shit. That's straight bars. It. I've never played it. Someone I think FNAF, <laughs> even if you never played it, you heard about it. Oh, like, yeah. Everyone oh, always had, talked yeah, about it. Yeah, you even had Even if you to. never played, played it, FNAF. you somewhat understood the plot line yeah. and what it was about. Yeah. It, and it was interesting because it's the first iteration of what's being called mascot horror um, on YouTube. It's like when you take a what's supposed to be a family-friendly kid's um, character and then turn it like dark and evil. You see a lot of examples now like Bendy the, in like the Ink Machine. Grimace. Um, Grim- with the well, Grimace, Grimace is more of a, I mean, yeah, I guess actually. Like, I, like, I know you're fucking joking, but like, kind of. Oh. A little bit. Um, what else? Benny the Machine said, "Hello, neighbor." Kind of. Um, that was a good game. Poppy's Playtime. Play Poppy's yes, Playtime. Garden of Ban Ban. I hate that fucking. Game. <laughs> I love Garden. I hate that fucking. Game. Garden of Ban Ban. So Look it up. It makes I've me so it. mad. I've seen You've it. seen it. My friends have you. played it. He. He I like, hate your friends. He, like, pulls it up on Discord and streams himself playing the Bro, game. He hates it. That game makes me so angry. I hate the you fork, brothers. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Uh, but, like, in a nice way. Okay. Okay. Whenever I say shit like that, guys, relax, okay? It's a no, bit. I don't want to. I'm going to go flame them on Twitter <laughs> and dox them. Um, but, no. For, for FNAF, a second, I was about to say it's not Twitter anymore. It's still Twitter to me. I don't give a yeah, fuck. I no, don't it's really- if Elon Musk came to my street and changed my street name to X, I'm still calling it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, you stalked yourself. <laughs> no, I knew, oh I knew I had to censor it. I knew I had to censor it. That'd be funny. I was watching the news, and the lady was like, and this man said on Twitter, and I was like, it's not Twitter anymore. Shut the anymore. fuck up. You're literally the person in the, in the no, reply that I, I fucking despise. <laughs> no, no, actually, Twitter's not a website anymore. No, it's currently I, x.com. It'd no, be Twitter. I, it will always be Twitter, yeah, no yeah. matter what, but it was kind of funny. I'm like, wow, even the news stations are like, no, it's not Twitter. Mm. It's Twitter fuck still. that. Dude, if you say x.com, yeah, like that's news, people are going to think you're talking about porn. Yeah, for real. Yeah. No, like, it, it's Twitter. It's it just, will always be Twitter. It's always got to like, be Twitter. Like, everyone I remember, like, Twitter was just a thing that everyone always yeah. wanted, yeah. always had. Like it was always Twitter. Why would you change Twitter? It's blue. It's because he's psychotic. 
He is. We can psychotic. talk about that later. I, I have some stuff to bring up. But yeah, let's let's talk about. Well, let's FNAF, get back because that's the main <laughs> that's the main thing. Um, but no, so it's really big. It continues to be big. Um, there's a lot of crit- it criticisms. It came from very humble beginnings. It came too. from spiteful beginnings. Yeah. Because uh, Scott Cawthon, do you know the story? Oh yeah. You, you can go for it. Ooh, I know I'm the story. Go for it. Because Scott Cawthon was for years, he did a lot of video editing, game development, and he had a very Christian theme with yep. a lot of his games and videos, but they never, ever received... What was received the, the Beaver one called? Oh. Chipper Tycan- and Sons Lumber yeah. Co. Was okay. that, like, Christian-themed? It was mm, It was not really Christian-themed, but it was supposed to be this, like, wholesome, cutesy, wholesome, wholesome game where you didn't, play as, like, a beaver and you, like, tend to a farm. Didn't the beaver look a little bit like Freddy? Th- yeah. It was creepy. It, was, it looked thing. creepy, and it inspired the design of the animatronics. People would comment. Really people comment in the reviews like, "Oh, um, this game's really fucking creepy. They look like an- yeah. animatronics." Still, is like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I can make something yeah. way creepier. And, and then he, he made the one. yeah. Wow. So he used that criticism of that game as inspiration. He actually put up. I don't know if you know this. He put up a Kickstarter for Five Nights at Freddy's. Real. Before it came out. Oh, I don't remember that. Really? It was up I had no for idea. three days. Before he took it down, it got not a single cent. Wow. <laughs> That's so sad. Up for three days. There were some very interesting perks, though. One of them was uh, being a beta tester okay. for Scott Cawthon. I think another one was like a poster set or something. But yeah, up for three days before the game came out and then wiped. Imagine if someone the actually like gave him something and mm. then actually like somehow got into... like. Billions of dollars from that kind of in a way. That like, would have been awesome. Or, okay, they probably probably wouldn't run to billions, but I would say like you, you know how some Kickstarters will do a um like get your name in the game or oh, something. Yeah. That'd be so cool if you became part of the fucking FNAF lore. I don't for real. No, that would be really. You know cool. what? Hold on. I'm gonna keep going with the story. Yeah. I'm gonna look up the perks actually of the Kickstarter. Um, I mean that's kind of it, and then I can go through a little, little bit more about the FNAF franchise. FNAF One came out. It was a fucking like basically instant hit because horror. Uh, it's still pretty big on YouTube, but it was really, really big in uh, 2015. I think it was. Yeah. That's 14. When, that's when 14? YouTube. That's when YouTube too was yeah. going into this era of like a lot of video gamer. Uh, yeah, like, like let's plays. Yeah, like let's plays, and that's when a lot of people started to do those. Mm-hmm. So I think it appealed to a broader and a larger community yeah. at the time. So that's why I think it really mm-hmm. and hit like off. and and like I, I'm being so dead ass right now. Like FNAF is a major part of a lot of YouTubers' careers today. Oh, Mark yeah. Like, Player. Markiplier. Yeah. Um, I, no, Markiplier is doing very good, and this kind of shot him up. Right. And, and, Mark, and, and honestly, I think there's an argument to be made that it's the other way around. Markiplier is the big reason that no, is No, definitely, big. for sure. Um, but, but other YouTubers like um, Corey Kenshin, I think, is the biggest oh, fucking yeah. winner. Dude, yeah. he... Matt, blue, Matt uh, Pat too. Matt Pat, oh yeah, Matt. Actually, yeah, both of them. Matt Pat Corey too. Corey and Matt Pat, big fucking winners. Oh yeah, um, huge. Matt Pat does a uh, game theory stuff. We'll talk about more, him more later. Whoa. Whoa. Why wasn't? Um, why wasn't Mark a player? In the movie? Uh, scheduling conflicks. Oh, you know, really? he's making. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's making his, his own, own movie. movie. It's sick. Wait, Iron really? Yeah, I saw the teaser. It looks that. like pretty it's dope. So sick. And he broke the world record of how much blood used in a horror movie. Really? Yeah, he went to the yeah. hospital Wait. because of the blood. What? You didn't see I that? The, I didn't know those were related. Oh, no, yeah. His eyes were like... If you ever seen the picture of his eyes, they were like bloodshot yeah, red. That, that was because of the filming. I had no idea. Yeah. He explained it in a video what? or a tweet because or something. Because he was looking at the camera for so long? Well, no, 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 no. He, he probably he got the blood, blood. Yeah, he got the Wait, blood in his blood? eyes. No. No. But like, like prop blood, prop blood, is, blood is probably not good oh, for your eyes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, okay, that yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. When someone does eyeliner and they accidentally like get the jo- yeah, and yes. they get their eye, eye turns completely black. Yikers! That's yeah. why I don't do eyeliner. But no, um, he looks insane in that picture too. His eyes are completely <laughs> bloodshot red, and like his hair is all over the place too. He just Wait, looks is like he a total the main mess. Actor in it? I don't I so. know. I, I so. I'd assume he is. Yeah, he, he's the main actor in a lot Wait, of stuff. Wait, would this be the second? There's no other YouTubers who have made a uh, film, right? Uh, Shane Dawson, but they're all shit. Yeah, but like... Shane I'm Dawson, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan yeah. Paul. But have they ever gone to, like, theaters? Uh, no. Like, this one's going to be a theatrical that's release. That's crazy. Is it really? I think it is. That's that's actually, I think, kind of cool. That's awesome. I didn't know it was going to be theatrical. Yeah, no, I think... Oh, I found I'm it. definitely... I definitely want to go see it. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> it's hard oh, to see from here, but... Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to fill it up. Um... um is this sweater? Yeah. But a sweater. lot of these, like. Yeah, oh, there. The, <laughs> oh wow! There he is. His eyes are red. They're completely. Look at how red. red. <laughs> That's insane. Bro was geeking. Oh my oh, yeah, god. Yeah, for for audio listeners, it's literally like 
he has the 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 pupil of his eyes black and the rest the white where the white should be it's just red. It kind of looks like he's pink eye. <laughs> but like <laughs> horrific eyes. pink eye. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is like the worst pink eye you've ever seen. It wasn't anything serious, but like he lived, bro. He's in yeah. the hospital like every other week. I guess. Do we want to go back to the Kickstarter? I have it pulled uh, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not. So Let's. he put it up. Let's see. It was put up on June fourteenth, two thousand fourteen, okay. before the game came out. Uh, the goal was ten thousand dollars. Did not get a single cent. To make for now. I mean, I don't know much about 10, video game development, but for well, now, it's a fairly think, simple game. But you got to think back uh, then. Ten thousand dollars would have gotten you really far. Yeah, but I'm saying I don't yeah. think you'd need that. I mean, maybe like a grand to like for. I don't know if you, if you had another job. I don't know. I guess I'm just a an few asshole. interesting things to note about the wording in the Kickstarter. He calls Freddy Freddy Bear okay. instead of Freddy Fazbear, which is the actual name. And at one point, he mentions you have to defend yourself from three animatronics, oh, not four. Oh, damn. So there's three. there were three rewards. Uh, if you pledged $10, you'd get a wallpaper pack, uh, which is just like a bunch of backgrounds yeah. that you could use for your computer. 25 was an early copy of the game, plus the wallpapers. Mm-hmm. And 50 was the beta tester one. Oh, there's nothing like super custom then. I thought no. there would be like... Oh. Get your name in the credits or something. Yeah. Three days after it went up, it was canceled. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, and, and now fucking here we are. Dude has billions of dollars. He's like six kids, by the way. Yeah. Six kids? He, and one is like six three kids. or something. Aw. Yeah. And, and so like his youngest kid is like three. And his oldest is like out of college. Really? Yeah. It's insane. I... I have something, something like that. It's a big. Like, it's kind of weird when you see celebrities and like you realize that like some of them have smaller children, and it's like, wait, I thought your kid would have been a lot older. Mm. <laughs> no, because like I, he did an interview with Daco. Oh, another big winner of the FNAF craze. Oh, um, for sure. All all those FNAF tubers. Apit Ryan did pretty good too. But yeah, um, the Ryan Daco did an interview with Scott, and he um, or no fuck was this? I don't, I don't know, but he said yeah, he, he, he said somewhere that he had. Like six kids, one w- w- that was the size of a blueberry. So I assume, like, yeah. recently, fucked. Uh, <laughs> so Damn. Okay. Wow. Damn. <laughs> uh, my bad guy. I don't know that. Wow. Um, first PG thirteen squabblers episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the first we got a little raunchy, just a little bit. <laughs> a little just raunchy. Little bit. The, the movie is PG thirteen, which is pretty surprising. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. But I mean, I like it though. He, he he FNAF launched a lot of um a lot of careers. I guess we could touch on the actual like basic story yeah. of Wait, the okay, game. Can can I can I mention something? A lot of movies today are PG thirteen and parents really just don't really care. Like they'll send a six year old to a PG thirteen. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, they will. I, yeah. I mean it could have been R rated as a thing because of like the material. I mean it would be stupid because I think they have teenage audience, but you know it's a um I forget the limit, but you can use one curse word in a yeah, one F word in a movie. To, to have it still be PG thirteen, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. one. Um but what was I gonna say? Um so here's how we're gonna do it. Um I'm gonna put for YouTube on screen there's a timestamp. Oh it's and it's also in the chapters. If you wanna Skip past the spoiler part. We're going to start with non-spoilers, then we're going to go to spoilers. Uh, when we go into spoiler territory, we'll let you know. I'll let you know in voiceover for audio listeners. And, uh, yeah. Woo! Okay. okay. So, um, basic outline. Um, main character, Michael. Michael Schmidt. Michael Schmidt. He um, Yes. He just got fired from his current job um, for a reason we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but he gets offered another job at... As a night guard for this little place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I don't Pizzeria. work nights. I don't work nights. Um, and <laughs> he takes care of his sister Abby, mm. and um, Abs. He, he needs he needs to uh, make ends meet by working there. And he finds a bunch of paranormal shit because his little uh, brother Gavin. Uh, wait, is this Garrett? Garrett. 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 Garrett um, got kidnapped when he was very young. Garrett. And he. Uh, he gets like visions of of Garrett when he sleeps in there, so he has like a, a con- yeah, connection. Like a recurring nightmare. And a bunch of stuff happens, and it's good. I would say my my big overall notes that I can say without getting into specifics. I think the opening of the movie was very oddly paced. I agree. Sam said the same thing. I said yeah. the same. I think it was fast. I think it was very fast. fast and they, they, they did it in the and wrong they order. Jumped around a lot. Yes. They, did, they 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 
like for, for like you know how you're supposed to make your main character be like personable and likable before you make have, have them do something dumb. Yeah. The first thing Michael fucking does in the movie is like punch a random dude because he thought he was kidnapping a kid. Right. So because like so a, a kid is st- this isn't really spoilers. Oh, that... A kid a kid is standing around right a kid yeah. without, without a parent and he's like concerned. And then he sees an adult grab him and like run away, like, like run, not run, you know, like like a kid's like fighting back. He's and he assumes that he's like um, trying to kidnap yeah, him. So he more. fucking swings, like he doesn't ask questions. Yeah. He just fucking knocks him that the fuck out and, and like and beats the shit he out of takes, him in a fountain. He like tackles him into like a fountain and just starts wailing as the kid's like, "Dad, no!" Like <laughs> not the smartest. The kid's like, "Dad, oh my god!" <laughs> like and it's just like it's so abrupt and it happens so you know early. What? It's you like didn't what? Get punched? He shouldn't have been acting so weird. No, I'm kidding. It was dumb. Yeah, you, it was dumb. you better be it kidding. Dumb. And it should <laughs> like. And the thing is, that, it, it, that makes sense because you know he has the trauma of his his brother getting kidnapped. So if that happens in a mall, he wants to defend him. But you didn't set that up. The first thing we see is this guy just beat the shit out of a random dude without asking questions. Yeah. That's so unreasonable, and we have no reason to like you, feel for him. You yeah, have, you dumb. have to set things up much set better. Set it up. Like start yeah. start with his lo- younger sister that he's barely be able to they afford just, for. Yeah. Then go into Gavin, and then show him beating the shit out of someone because he's impulsive. Mm-hmm. That is like I get it, I understand, right. you know. But, right. um, but I that feel was like there weird. were a lot of moments in this movie where um, things you you question in the moment that made sense later, but they were still like not great in the moment. Yeah, you in know the what moment I mean? it's like what was it's, that? It's bad timing. It's extremely bad, bad pacing. Timing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, like they they could have changed the order of a lot of things in the beginning, but it really started it started to what's it called? Uh, fucking tighten up. During the middle, yeah. I took some pretty decent notes here. I love what you took. Notes. Um, of course, I took notes. You know me, bro. I took notes of the Fred movie. We were gonna Fre- the Fred movie is <laughs> the first thing we were gonna do. Are you serious? Dead you Dead took movie. notes on the Fred movie. Yeah. I will forever be traumatized. Oh my god! <laughs> we'll talk I about that later. That I will like forever be traumatized. We have a lot of things to talk about after the FNAF. I haven't seen the Fred movie in years. I gotta watch it again. Just okay. so you know, uh, I'm you? forever traumatized by that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Isn't there a sequel to that movie? There's, there's like three, three, I think. There's yeah. There's three. There's three. Yeah. There's Camp Fred. I think that's the yeah. third one. It's, it's they Fred, go to like a it's, summer camp. It's Fred one, Fred two, Night of the Living Fred, and then Fred three, Camp Fred. Oh, look at you! You Fred. know all yeah, your you Fred facts. Me. Fred one, you cannot buy online. You have to pirate it. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can't find Is it. it. On Prime? Are you serious? I thought you could buy it on Prime. I, I will looked. say this now: that movie did not need a sequel. <laughs> what do you mean? It it's did not movie. need a sequel. No, there were points. Fun. There Red. were points in that movie where I was okay. just like, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Um, it was a masterpiece. Anyways, back to FNAF. Um, Vanessa makes an appearance mm-hmm. in the game. I will say, going into the movie, if you're if you're a fan of the lore current, um, it does deviate. So it's not like you're gonna know what's yeah. coming up. I think people. I think some people are arguing if they should have stayed true. Honestly, I don't think that they should have. Because, like, we know... We've been analyzing the fucking... The movie... Yeah. Or we've been analyzing the games for, like, a decade now, or however long this fucking franchise has been out. Like, if we if they stuck true to it, we'd know how everything ends. Yeah. I, I, I'm down with what they changed. I don't mind that they changed stuff without going into too much detail. I don't yeah. mind that they wanted to go in their own direction, but there were certain parts that completely contradicted in my opinion some of the plot points the game made and the, i really the, didn't like that the plot points they did change i'm okay with them changing to be honest because like they, like they're big but they're they're big enough where it's like a significant difference in the movie but it's not so big that it ruins the franchise in my opinion yeah no that that's definitely important i feel like you you have to deviate when you make a movie from no the yeah game because agree. like if you don't there's no point. It just you, there's no point in watching like it. You, you, yeah yeah like yeah, you already yeah. know the whole plot line mm-hmm. like you're not going to see the movie if you already know the whole plot line. Like, you'll still see it for the nostalgia, but, like... Invincible had a similar problem, at least in my opinion. Well, I, I never read the Invincible, com- Invincible comics, but I feel like some people that could watch it might have, like, um, problems with the show because the show c- stays so one-to-one mm-hmm. with the uh, source material, which is, like, fine. I think people appreciate that. And they changed some stuff, like... um. They switched the order that things were revealed, which made it really good. And Invincible is a great show, but I feel like if you stay too true, like it's 
like, there's no real reason to watch well, it. I mean, the boys know? isn't anything like the comics, and it's like great. people say, it's like ten times better. It's than better, the comics. bro. The comics are shit. I yeah, heard. I've heard the same thing. Well, that yeah. happens a lot of times in other stuff. Like I know, like um, Marvel, they have source material. They take that source material and they change it. Yeah. Um, most anime, they take the manga and they change it slightly, but it still is true to the timeline. Like everything is changed slightly to make fans want to watch it. Yeah. Um, I will say, um. I think I'll be honest. I think we've kind of went big enough without spoilers. Like, yeah. I think we kind of got to get into it now. If we're yeah, because I mean, like, there, we, well, there we are, gotta really get into yeah. it. We gotta. There are some yeah. cool references to the movie. You're gonna see a few YouTubers. I'm not gonna say who yet. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll say it soon. Mm. Um, but we'll yeah, stay in the spoilers. So uh, here's the timestamps for the spoilers. To skip spoilers. Last call for spoilers. Leave now if you would like to not be spoiled for the FNAF movie. Uh, the there's a time on screen and there is a time in the description and in the video chapter. So go there if you don't want to be spoiled. Uh, spoilers now. Ah, all right. We're back. This so. movie was cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers. Do you not like it? I hated it. Really? Did not like it. Holy at shit. All. Let's I rip that bandaid up right now. It. I, I, thought, I thought hated it. it. I thought it was a little bit above average. Above average. You liked it? A little above average, yeah. I have... Never so actually can we get into our experience with yeah. it? Is this I, a did, good time? I didn't care for it. I didn't hate it as much as he did. Damn. I didn't yeah. what did you guys I walk out of disliked the... it more than I liked it. Yeah. Did you guys Damn. walk out of the theater and like were like I hate it? It I was, was okay. I was satisfied. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. let's talk about our theater experience. Yeah, okay. so we went to AMC. Okay, I did too. Uh took an Uber there, got there a couple minutes. We missed the previews, but you know, we got there theater was absolutely packed as you would expect yeah. shit on you went to 6 p.m yeah and there were lots of like middle school high school kids there yeah. very little lots. adults for uh for for everyone listening i i listen, i went at 2 p.m there's like 20 people in the theater yeah. right Love that was that. the so nice. that's the time to go it's um, like right before school gets out but so we went in and i kid you not constant conversations the entire film and whenever there was a big moment, People like, would, like, a big moment, oh my god, oh my god, like uh, screaming like it's it, a Marvel movie. Oh, it was like worse than watching Marvel. Endgame. W- worse than Marvel. But worse, uh-huh. worse. No, it holy worse. shit. It got so bad, and like we're still recovering from a cold, so we're just like sitting there like old men, like oh these darn kids. <laughs> like, I, 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 and then eventually. Adam is like, do you want to just, like, dip? Like, we were about, like, 40, 45 minutes into the movie. No. And I'm like, dude, if you want to go, let's get out. Because we had to go to Target and pick up some stuff yeah. after the movie. <laughs> the mask. So we're just like, all right, yeah, let's okay, go. We walked out on the FNAF movie. We did. We walked out. Keep in mind, okay, the, these people, the, I mean, I get it. They're kids. They're excited. They it was it sounded like a, a high school cafeteria. It in did. There. Damn. It wasn't constant. just like the big reveal moments. It, there was yeah. a constant talking over the every scene. Yes. How every could you, scene. How could you do that? Right. How could you do there that? Was like because no they're etiquette. children, asshole yeah, children. Like, I hate kids. Sorry. But like, <laughs> okay, yeah, but like, I feel like you you have like the the Marvel crowd, which I like. I kind of fall into sometimes. Like what well, with uh, the whole like Endgame saga. Sure, I was like like excited. And invested in cheering for stuff. Then you have, like, the kid crowd who are going to be, like, a little more rowdy. This is the first movie ex- that you're experienced where that combined those two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. And it didn't work. Honestly. It's really I, annoying. I feel, I, I feel for you because, like, 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 like I said, I found it, it was, like, a slightly above average because I appreciated it a lot. But, like, no one was, like, it was silent because of the time I went. Right. It was, was yeah. 2 p.m. It's like I think there's maybe five kids there, and they were with, the, with their parents, so like they weren't. Wait, that was at all. important. Were the parents actually there with them, or did they just drop the kids off and then left? Probably some, some, I saw some, but most. I think we sat literally behind like a group of young high school kids that just talked. Okay, so that makes more sense because the parents not there. Like, yeah, I know. don't think I think it was like eighty percent. Kids. Do you think you would have stuck around if they weren't there? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, we would. If no, one or we the did, other. We did see the rest of the movie. We did see the whole movie. Yeah. So oh, you did see the movie. We watched it on, oh, a, on a Peacock. That's yeah. the second part. So we go back afterwards. Um, we go back to the dorm, and Adam is doing some work and whatnot. And my friend sends over a very legal 
very not pirated. You mean you mean they, they sent you their prescription of peacock? Yeah, sent me their prescription of peacock. Prescription. <laughs> actually, no, you bought it because I bought be it. Illegal. Actually, yeah, I bought it. I bought. He bought peacock. He bought peacock. He bought peacock I watched day. a very legal <laughs> no, for the month FNAF month. movie. Oh, he bought peacock for the month. Yeah. <clears throat> Paste that okay, over. So the we original. bought it, <laughs> <laughs> and then we streamed it on the TV, and we watched the ending so we could actually, you know. Be ready for. I was gonna say, if you watched half of it, you, you don't really have the merit. Yeah, to talk no, about we, it. we watched. But we watched thing. the full thing. We watched it from start to finish. Wow, it that, just took a little time. That's insane that there were so many kids that were just like interrupting the movie. Thank fucking god, I'm it the goat. Anime fans are really <laughs> funny when they watch a movie in theaters. They always like start off with the credits, being like saying weird things, and then it gets quiet. I will say, I went to watch FNAF with Jackie, and it was like, we have to watch it at 2 p.m. Because after that, it's going to get wild. She's like, eh, she fucking whined. I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to say it anyways, because I think it's funny. She whined about it. She's like, oh, you can go later. So she's fucking sleeping. I'm like, <laughs> look at that shit. You yeah, know how miserable? Because, yeah. like, it was I don't not think fun. it's not a movie that's worth sitting through that environment. No. I don't no. Say that. Not, worth, not worth that at all. I wanted to, but it, it, it was just impossible. It wasn't I, thought, I, I thought... It was great, like, what's it called, structurally. I just didn't, didn't think there was much to, like, pull me in. It was, it was, like, structurally it was fine. That's why I said it's slightly above average. Yeah. I, I, mean, I think I have... After the, after the beginning. Most of the, criti- most of the same criticisms you have, but I think you could deliver them with much more passion and conviction yeah, than I could. because I so very much grew to up very close All right, go for it. to the games. Go for it. So... Uh, I, I kind of did too, so. I guess so. Uh, interesting, actually. Because we both have, like, fairly similar yeah. attachments to the game, and, like, yeah, I we mean, have very different opinions. I played a lot of the games. I watched them all. Um, very, watched all those MatPat videos. Yes, sir. Bro, Jackie and I literally listened to FNAF Floor on the way to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. That's actually awesome. Um, so, I guess we could start with more general sure. criticisms. Sure. And, uh,. So I guess the first thing I wanted to start with was the acting and the writing. And yeah. I, no offense to the guy, what's his name, who played Mike Schmidt? Josh Hutchinson? Hutchinson? Hutch- something Hutchinson. Look it up. It's something Hutchinson. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, God, what is his name? It's Hutchinson, for sure. It's Hutchinson, so, yeah, it's something Hutchinson. But I'm pretty sure it's Josh Hutchinson. No, no, like, offense to that guy, because I'm sure he's a great guy, whatnot. I did not. I did not like his acting. Like nor that. did I like the writing in this film. I thought his conversations right. between characters felt very wooden, like reading off a script. And I I don't know. I just every time there was like dialogue, it just kind of felt like it felt very forced. Like it didn't feel very natural. Especially the 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 conversations between Vanessa Yeah. And Vanessa was weird. Vanessa I Okay. There were Mike. there were a lot of moments in the movie. Vanessa completely contradicts herself. Yeah. One moment she's like, "Oh, you're you're gonna quit this place. Like you're done." And then she's like, "Oh, well, have you met them yet? Like, let's go." It's Josh. Josh Hutchinson. Josh Hutchinson. Let's go, yeah. like, look around and stuff. And then she's like, "If you bring your sister here again, I'm gonna shoot you." Yeah. It's and yeah. she's just all over the place. Her motives and make no sense. It makes more sense at the end when you figure out that she's related to at William. Too. Afton is like actually um, the guy who gave Michael the job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he he shows up as Spring Trap. Um, and Vanessa is his daughter, mm-hmm. and he he was kind of like using her to get him to to uh, do Bre- kind of the like job. lure them in. Yeah, almost. so it, it does make oh. more sense in that context. Uh, there are there are a few things near the end that reframe the rest. Yeah, but. Vanessa's character oh, still was just yeah. like it was too all big. over I think the place. Motives in all the beginning, over the like why was she all like, "Oh, have you met them yet? Look at all this cool stuff. Oh, I know you're gonna quit. You're definitely gonna quit." Like, why is she kind of like leading him on? And then later on, he's like, he wants to know more about the place, and she's like, "If you come back here, I'm gonna shoot you." Also, also considering it doesn't that, make considering, any sense. Considering that her motive underneath is like to. Keep an eye on him, you know? It was weird how she approached it. I will say, like, if you're doing a character like that, you have to be very careful. Like, in a sense that, like... She's a twist villain. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, like... Twist character. It's kind of like she used her words to make him stay. Like, oh, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm not going to quit. Or, like, I'm going to prove this right. I'm going to prove that. Like, you're not going to... That's true. It's kind of like a way of using words to make someone manipulate them. My my biggest problem with Vanessa is she was so, like, uninterestingly vague... 
Like, I feel like she was so vague and mysterious just for the sake of it, and it never brought anything. So, like, exactly. she was on screen and talking for the sake of, like, ooh, what am I going to do? You know, like, <laughs> like, what's my importance in the story? I'm like, yeah. you need to, like, give it, she needs to have more value than that. Like, yeah, I, I feel exactly. Like, like, maybe you could make her, uh, like, sporadically. Like, I think it could have worked. But, like, but, I but, do but too. it brought, I think but it they brought had a, nothing. I think um, Michael and her had b- 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 dialogue aside, I think they had decent chemistry on screen. Like their scenes yeah. together, I thought had their moments. You know, they were they were all right, mm. but um, some of the, the the lines just ruined it for me. That's, some of the lines I just think, ruined it for me. Like the concept of her being a twist villain, I think could have worked character because in the game yeah. she is a villain. So I wouldn't have yeah. minded if they went that route. But I just thought execution wise, they just completely botched it. Right. I think like too, it's like you when you're introducing like a twist villain, you have to be very careful, but you also have to. Um, be true like in this sense since she is a villain i think it would make sense well in in the game in in the the game game, she is a villain but like it makes sense to kind of give that like keep that character like certain characters need to stay within their lore somewhat when you're trying to keep that lore somewhat exactly i mean i think my biggest problem uh with the movie was just how like small of a role i feel like springtrap was he comes in at the very oh, end. Oh, I absolutely I had the same despise problem. that scene. Okay, so he's at the very beginning. He's at the very end. It felt like shoehorned in. He's at the very end, beginning? Yeah, when he gave well, Michael he, the job. He gave him the job. Oh, was, oh no, I, I meant like actually Springtrap, like him in the suit. No, oh, no, no. Okay. He, he needs to be in way more, but go on. He, uh, Springtrap did feel like a little shoehorned in. Yeah. I thought the whole character felt like shoe. I think there weren't enough moments throughout the second act to warrant him just appearing at the end and being like a big bad reveal like obviously it's co- oh it's cool it's spring trap but i felt like he wasn't in enough for the you, movie to warrant that you know what i felt it, it felt like this probably didn't happen this is how it felt like uh, like let's say they had to get the movie to two hours ten it felt like they were writing and writing and writing and they're like oh shit we have 20 minutes i had the exact same thought they need yes. a conclusion that's the conclusion so, like, yep. spring trap should have been a, like should have been introduced like halfway through or like Two thirds at the latest. Right. It's crazy because in the games they go back to the same well in Security Breach and they just bring Spring Track back. He's this. I think he's like he's easily the scariest character in the movie. He is, and they and they needed to bring that in because my, like the animatronics, they're scary for like five minutes, or like like a scene when when they kill the the people breaking in, and mm. then they're an ally when Abby comes in, which that should have been brought up. That should have been built up. I that, don't think they like they flipped. No. They, they rip that bandaid off so quick. Like he wakes up to her screaming. He goes in and she's like, "Oh my god! Like they're so friendly. You should meet them." Like, it was there's no drawing. setup. There's no it, setup. It went. Yeah. From, it, it went from like enemies to ally to like an enemy, but you could also like work around it. Like and again, it was I'd very be, odd. Yeah, I'd be fine if they wanted to do that. If they just set it up better, yeah. it you was know? an interesting twist. I just felt that, like that, that was another pacing issue. It was yeah. super. It like, ruined. Pacing was so wacky. It ruined the tension. You really can't did. rip yeah. off the bandaid that quick. Like it, you should, need, it makes yeah. no sense. There, there was no setup. Like nothing was earned. Oh fuck! There's a big thing that I brought up. Right. He didn't when when he gets the that second round of cuts like in his dream thing that was weird too. Yeah, I didn't hurt, like he got, that. And, it, and his, he had this dream sequence where also we should probably explain stuff because there are people that don't give a shit about spoilers. Mm-hmm. So we should probably explain it. Even. Oh, so yeah, okay. So in the movie, um, Michael when he was young, his brother Garrett gets kidnapped. They were like on a camping trip yeah, somewhere camping in Nebraska, trip. and he gets taken away by William Afton. Mm-hmm. That was the guy who kidnapped his son. They don't really explain how or why or what happened. I mean, it he, doesn't he matter. Killed, but like, but was resolved. It's, Michael keeps having reoccurring nightmares about the kidnapping. Yep. And in those dreams, when he's at the pizzeria, the kids who were killed and stuffed into the animatronic suits, they're like appearing in his dreams. Mm-hmm. And sometimes like whenever he gets too close to them or something like that, they like slash him. They'll attack, yeah. And like he gets cut in the dream, and oh, if you die in the game, you die in real life type thing. Like he has that gash on his arm. He he, he gets physical injuries from like imaginary cuts. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, the second time this happens, he he gets cut a lot. So he gets brought into like um like this police medical bay thing by Vanessa. By Vanessa. And. He's like, what's going on? And he's like, I, I gotta fight the animatronics. What's going on? And she just dumps all this expo on him. I'm like, yeah, nothing. Man. I'm like, nothing. And the thing is, right? I think expo dumps can work. Like, like in the like in the boys, they have some. Like, 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 like what's her name? Fucking 
uh, Grace Mallory. I'm not going to say I don't want to spoil the boys, but like that, in season three where she has that expert. Yes. About yeah. The event. I think. Then, yeah. I think. I know yeah. What you're um, about. That was earned. Butcher earned it. Yeah. In this movie, he didn't fucking earn shit. No. Nothing in this movie was earned. Right was before, no. literally right before that, she's like, "I'm gonna shoot you if you come back here," and now she's all like, "Well, here's my dad. Here's where I grew up. This, this, this." Yeah. And it's like it yeah. feels super abrupt. Yeah. No her, build up her, to it at all. Her motives were like here all and over there the place. And there. All over the place. They did not set her up well. My my biggest problem. This is like the whole thing. It's. I mean, the direction that they went in was not a horror movie. Yeah. It was a, an adventure movie with, like, horror Aspects. touches. Elements, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so... Why would I, you... I, like, I know, like, it's just, like, it just makes no sense to me. Why? Why? Well, I feel why, like why because because they wanted to get the biggest audience possible. Because they wanted to market they to really kids needed the best to that they could. They really needed to market to children. Um, I feel like there was so much missed opportunity with... The, the the potential horror movie that yeah. we could have gotten because I feel like the adventure movie that we did get when you when you're able to like objectively view it through that lens and like you, you put forget all about expectations the aside yeah it's not terrible there are some like pretty decent sequences um, I liked the final dream sequence where he's like trying to escape from like Foxy um, dream sequence what? no that was real that when, was, that was real. when he was escaping he, was from Foxy that was yeah. real. No, no, no. When he he's in the dream and then he wakes up, and yeah, then and then he Foxy chases him. Oh, okay. yeah. That sequence. But I felt like there was there was a big missed opportunity with the horror thing, and then th- the moments there, I feel like the the tension was completely diffused from the beginning. In the middle, when all the the characters, oh yeah, turn even in the scene where they're fighting off the robbers, because it, you said it best in that scene. You know from the start that they only kill yeah, bad people. That's what it was. That that scene set up the fact that they only go after the yeah, bad people. We knew they weren't gonna kill Michael because Michael wasn't a bad guy. Right. Yeah. They were only killing the people who were, were bad guys. Yeah. And yeah. they were bad because they wanted to fuck with Michael. Mm-hmm. And oh that B plot was terrible too. Which we bought the, uh, the 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 custody one? I I didn't even see that as a B plot. I just saw that as motivation for him to continue going back to Freddy's. I agree. That I was the know. biggest thing. That was so... Yeah. The, the the scene leading up to the robber scene and the robber scene, in my opinion, they, was awful. They showed the animatronics so much in the robber scene. Yeah. It's like there, there was no... It wasn't scary at all. I it was like played for like laughs. The lighting was it was too bright. You could Wait. see way too much. Yeah, way too it, much. And I think the set design itself was cool, but being able to see how, like the animatronics from all angles and seeing them in such bright lighting ruined any scary it just, factor it didn't follow any like, like unknown factor that they would have had yeah it just didn't follow like any of the horror formula beats yeah. that you're supposed and then we to we knew that they only killed people with bad intentions so now michael was like yeah, they're not gonna kill him he right. can sleep the whole time yeah right. they might slash him or something but they're not gonna kill him they diffused the tension twice once in the robber scene once in the scene where they're all like friendly with, and then it made it, and then they so they try to bring it, they bring it back, they try with to bring the ghost it back. kids in the yeah. spring trip, which I didn't mind that plot line. I thought it was a pretty cool like lore plot line, yeah, but it felt like a necessity because they already did, made them not because scary. Because at that point you have nothing to go off of yeah. unless you do that. And then the spring trap reveal was just so out of the blue, like they completely forgot about William Afton through the entire film, and they bring him back right at the end of the movie. Yeah. For this, like, stupid reveal, like, it's a fucking Marvel do you think cameo. Were, do you think they were trying to set up, like, a second one? I'm probably. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But, okay, here's absolutely. The but, okay, if they're already so talking about a second one in just, pre-production. Wait, can, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, can I add something? Let me just add something real quick. And then I have they a question. They fucking flopped on the I Always Come Back. He fucked it up. I'm so sorry. He did. It didn't no, he know, it fucked did. it up. If you don't know... The phrase "I always come back" is an an iconic fucking line from from FNAF because Springtrap always he like always comes back to life. He never fucking dies because yeah. of because of shit that they set up in the games. Yeah, like I said, like the biggest problem with this movie is that nothing is earned. Nothing is ever nothing set up in this movie at all ever. No. So he, like at the end yeah. when he's about to die from his Springtrap uh, failing, he's like, "I always come back." <laughs> Yes. I'm like, bro, you yeah. fucked it up, and you, you didn't, you didn't earn you, it, and you, you also fumbled the fucking. Ugh. You need to make the line more, like, Impactful. have more passion and more, yeah. right? Like, no, like, I, he, feel to it. It has he, to be more, like. He didn't say it with, 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 like, malice. He said yeah, it. Yeah, he said it out I mean. of desperation. 
one thing Which is so weird. One suggestion that I had for him was like I wanted him to appear more throughout the movie. Why yeah. couldn't yeah. he have been like calling Michael every night, like in the game, so you right. get a phone call yeah, instead fuck. of the dreams? Like, that's such a have simple the phone thing. things because then you could have him like looking through the monitors. Then you could build tension while also having him on the phone, building him up as a villain. Exactly. Instead of the the dreams, which okay, they serve the the uh, Abby plot. Yeah, but I mean, it's right there. It was right there. It's right. It's a layup. It's right there. Just take it. Like, I, you didn't build him up at all, but you expect, oh, look at this big, cool conclusion. Oh, my God. He's here. Uh, he's in the suit. Yeah. He just oh, literally, Vanessa mentions him briefly, and then all of a sudden, he just trots around a fucking it, corner. Like, there's no setup. Like, no. there's nothing there. And it just felt like the main appeal of the movie was, like, reveals. It felt like they, they were scrambling at the it, end. It, they it, needed a conclusion. They couldn't wrap it up. Like, Marvel they cameos. Wrap it up. No. Like that's oh, what like, it felt like. The the main appeal was like yeah. m the branding. Now we knew Wait, was what the branding? Were not yeah, bad. yeah, on. yes. The main appeal of this movie was like the like the branding of the what's it called? The, like the the FNAF brand. Yes. And they couldn't really. I mean, like I think their idea for the plot was a great way to to, to like I think base level foundational. I think it's actually really good. It has a lot of potential. But it, nothing is built up. Nothing was earned. That was that my was, thing. That yeah. was the problem. Yeah. So no, I, I have, have a, a question for you guys. So, yeah. Do you think that it should be more horror and rated R? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 100%. I don't think it needed to be rated R. First off, I think if it's rated R and it's like super bloody, it wouldn't make as much money. Because well, kids, I'm not saying like super bloody. It should be. I think, think PG-13 can work. I think that, I think, honestly, it probably should. I don't have as many arguments for that. But I think it, 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 it's fine. But they, first off, they need to fix foundational issues. With yeah. like, or not foundational, but they need to fix like pacing. They need to fix um, setting things up. We already said it. <sighs> but like, I I think it, it could work just because of the, f the foundation that they laid. If I they just work. set it up better, that's it. For me personally, I would have enjoyed it better if it was horror because I think they really could have went if they went full throttle with it. I think it could have been also if you, if an you never incredible see, horror. If movie. you never see the animatronics in FNAF, yeah. though, in a FNAF movie, it's like. It's and the games are horror. The thing is, like the games at foundation level are horror too. Yeah. So I, I didn't really like the whole adventure thing because it kind of went against the whole like horror aspect of the game. Yeah. They were they it were felt like the way security movie. breach felt, where it was right. less horror. That's adventure. fair. Yeah, That's if, fair. yeah, it did feel like that. It, it it they were teasing horror the whole time, but it was never actually a horror movie. Yeah, and I no. feel like it would have played best as a horror. It didn't need to be R. There've been really good PG thirteen horror movies. I feel like that could that could be fine. Yeah, but. It, it would have been best served as a horror yeah. movie. At I, least more so than it was. Yeah, for me, it's like, I see what it could have been if they went in a horror direction, and I really would have really rather preferred that over PG-13. I just don't think this movie was made for me. You know what I mean? That's fair. I think this movie was made for a lot of young kids who like are into FNAF, but not really a lot of like the older fans. Like They put fan service in for people who grew up with yeah. the games. But the actual substance <laughs> in the movie is for a younger audience. It's not for people who grew up uh, and I, are in I, you know, I feel college like, now. I feel like the movie, like the the foundation was fun. Fuck, well, I was gonna say something. Um, it was def I think for me at least, it was entertaining for like fan service. Like like seeing Matt Pat was awesome. Mm -hmm. You got to say it's just a theory. Yeah, like that was, that sure. was pretty hype. Um, Corey Kenshin's the goat. Oh yeah, he no, I love there. the Matt Pat cameo. I love how he's like. Well, actually, lunch is the most important meal of the day. And well, like, uh, that's just a theory. I know that was that was probably one of <laughs> my so favorite cute. parts. It was so cute. I love him. I said, I said to Adam after that scene, I'm like, why is Matt Pat a better actor than the guy who plays Mike? Oh uh, my god! <laughs> I did not co-sign that. <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, Matt Pat has been performing like publicly for like ten years. I just fair, think Matt so. Pat fit that role so so it's good. so fucking it's funny. So, it was ten seconds, but it was. Funny. <laughs> but they um they also they also they never resolved the bitch ant. She just died in their oh, yeah, house, she just dies. and Bro, then they don't cares? talk about her. She just she dies. She was so irrelevant. You know what was kind of funny, though? Like, when she was, like, offering to pay, like... Two grand or... Two grand, grand for, like... The break-in? The break-in. I'm like, two grand? That's it? You're going to do all that for two Gs? Are you really that, like, desperate for the cash? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're going they, they in... Looked you're it. Breaking... They looked it. They looked it. Yeah. They, but you're breaking and entering. I get it. I don't know. Also, they, also, they they ended up doing it for one, not two. Remember? It was one because she, she bar They asked for two. She said one. Oh, 
Come oh on. That's even worse. Yeah. It, yeah, come on. One okay. G, that's that scene, it. I, I thought that scene was so dumb. That was it, really dumb. I really didn't also, like it. Also, a big problem that I had with the final like encounter is like, I feel like a big appeal to the FNAF games is that it, it's one of the first first horror games where you can't fight. You cannot fight. The, the, yes. The thing. Like, oh my god. Like you, have to, you have to stay yes. in one place. You can't run. You can't run. You can't fight. Right. They are act, they are taking action to go inside and actually fucking fight them with the tasers. Yeah. yeah. The water like, and the tasers. Like and the whole goddamn point of why any of this was interesting is because of all the restrictions you had. Yeah. yeah. Because you felt powerless. Dude, he literally fucking... First off, when he when he breaks in to the, to, into, uh, like and he's stealthing, how the fuck is he? He breaks down a metal grate right in front of Freddy. I know. Runs for cover. He's like... Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dude, there's no way. These are literally payday guards. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. I got so mad during no, that. No, it made... It, they were not scary at all. No. And literally, we knew that after the robber scene, when they only killed the bad people. Honestly, right? I was okay with it, them not being scary, but I wasn't okay with them not being a threat at all. Yeah, they, like, weren't. they weren't. At least a threat to Michael, man. Like, make some tension. Make us like, oh, my God, is Mike going to be okay? Like... Right. I, there really wasn't any of that until like the very end when we already knew what was going to happen. Like yeah, right. uh, this, the whole scene where they're building a pillow fort, no setup to that, and completely removed there's, like, all no, the there's, tension. Also, from that. there was like no purpose of that scene. There's either. no purpose. Like, no. like, like, besides shock value, they were looking for things to just put in to make time. Yeah, I guess it's it's, it's like it's, it's already two hours. You know hours. what I saw from a lot of people? A lot of people are like, "Oh, I love that scene. That scene was so cute. That's everything I ever wanted." It's more fan service stuff. I, They're all like laying in a circle, you know. Like, okay, but I so okay. Because people no. are saying that it's like, oh, it shows that they're kids too. And yeah. they just, I, I get they it. They could have done but... that better. They could have done that way better. Oh, they, they could have done, done it way better. Because like, what, what, you know what? Like, what, here's what they could have done. Like maybe uh, Chica's chasing Michael, running, running, running. He fucking like throws a box like a pizza and falls, and Chica gets distracted because it's a fucking child. Sure, something yeah. like that. Like, something. Like, yeah, like, this is so on the nose. Tendencies. It's so, yeah, on the no so on the nose. Nothing is subtle in this movie no subtlety, at all. There's no nothing's subtlety. Nothing's earned. Nothing's that's built a, up. That's something I actually hadn't thought about. It's so on the nose. It's, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy too, because. FNAF, like the especially the first game, was subtle in a lot of the, the whole things point that it did. was all the question the, marks. Yeah, piecing together little bits of information, and the movie was just completely like, they are kids in the robots. <laughs> I can't. The so first second that it started, I can't robots. even imagine because like the reason that they re released it on Peacock was so theorists could like get their hands on it and go frame by frame, which is fine. But like, I can't even think about anything to theorize about. Nothing. What's a question mark? It's so surface level. What happened? I guess where where's Gavin? But that's not even teased anywhere. Well, he's not even Golden yeah. Freddy or anything. Did we <sighs> even see Golden Freddy? We did. I, I thought. Oh, oh, when he broke into the house, right? Yeah, when that little, he broke into the house, kid, the he killed. Uh, Is that the blonde kid? No, no. Remember okay. when they went in the taxi in Corey yes. Kenshin and yes, Golden Freddy was sitting next to her. But was that the blonde kid? Because because the blonde kid was talking. to I her. I thought the blonde kid was someone else. I thought the blonde, thought the blonde kid was the was ghost Freddy. of like Freddy. But in the house, the blonde kid is talking to her. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't another make sense. Thing, like the, really the kids, uh, like the instead of showing the animatronics, they showed the kids. That's another thing. Like that's so they overdid that. Oh, I guess they the really kid overdid was that. Was Golden Freddy? That actually okay. But it's weird because he shows up and talks. Doesn't talk as Freddy as well. I, I thought he did. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It would have been cool if they went in depth on like how the kids felt, you know? Because like because that that's actually kind of. All, of all the years this game's been going on, they don't really talk about how the kids feel. I mean, obviously they're mad. Oh yeah. But they could have they could have had all the kids like approach it differently. Like one kid's very mad, one kid just misses their their fucking brother or something. Yeah. One kid one one kid's like like is trying to rationalize it like he, mm. he deserved it or whatever. It was, like, like something well, I feel, interesting. I think they did do that, but it was at the very end where he like tears the drawings off the wall and it's like, Oh, he's the one doing this too and then they just change immediately with Oh, no, I actually like, thought that scene was super cringe. Yeah, me like, too. It happened she, too when fast. She's just like, Abby, you gotta draw and she like rips it the drawing been, off. It could have been so cool. But it like could have been. But but that, no, the problem is again, in the end scene nothing was earned. No. He, she drew and then she ran and then she put it on the wall. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, no, none of the animatronics questioned her. Spring Trap barely tried to stop her. Like she just, she got it for free. They should have set it up better. There was no tension. Yeah, yeah. there's the, no the, tension. The it, oh. It's a reoccurring theme throughout the entire movie that they just cannot set 
moments up and they just rush to plot points. That's the most yeah. important part of making a movie. Exactly. Yeah, pacing, exactly. tension, if I earning, say, shit. earning shit. If I could say one nice thing, one thing that I did like, this yeah. is like a very like small thing, but yeah. <laughs> there, I obviously there were part there are sequences that I liked. But um this 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 one little thing is I liked that they actually used like I'm pretty sure the suits were practical for they a were. good part. Yeah, they were. They I thought they looked pretty good. They're Even really the, good. the movement when they were on stage, I thought the movement of the suits were pretty good. The eyebrows are crazy. They by showed the way. them too much. But I don't, the actual movement and the, the look of the suit, I thought it was pretty I good. I will say I don't I disagree that they show them too much. I think I, I'm I'm down for them to be on screen you know, for longer. It, it just but takes away the tension, though. I, I I'm okay with it. I, I, that's why Spring Trap should have been a fucking bigger part. The animatronics aren't the threat because we've we've listen. We've but been they scared. should be. They okay, should listen, be at least. Listen, in like my a opinion, should have been fine. But I think there is a way to make the animatronics not a threat while making the movie scary. Yeah. Because let's be real, we've been fucking scared of these animatronics for the past eight years. Mm. Like. No, I get it. I think we, we could we could transition into like trying to understand the animatronics because like because we get it, dead kids, but like we never go into it. We could, we could have went into it and then made Michael Afton the fucking scary. No, that that makes much more sense. I think that's but, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. But you you didn't make Michael Afton scary though. No, they didn't because no. he wasn't in the movie. Yeah, he you was. can't make a guy <laughs> scary if he's not in the movie. I know, <laughs> right? Crazy. He was not in the movie. Right. He literally wasn't. So it's like. What it, this just isn't horror. You and have like way, he, four cheap jump scares in there. He popped out out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> he was they he they're trying to leave and then Bunny Man out of the corner. I know. <laughs> that was the worst reveal of all time. I was, like, it was horrible. No build up. There wasn't. You, they, you know what they should have done? Like they get to the door. Fuck! It's locked. You hear like clank, fucking clanking. Yeah. As he gets revealed, still a shit reveal because he wasn't even teased at all. But better than him rounding a corner. And being <gasps> <like>. <gasps> <laughs> like, I'm I'm okay. Like you said, I'm okay with them not making the animatronic. I would have preferred it, but I'm okay with them not doing not being that. not being the scary part. But someone's got to be the villain. Yeah, there's got to be a villain. Make Vanessa the villain, more of a villain. You know what I mean? Put William Afton in the movie and make at all. him oh, a no, villain. You, at all. Please. Like you yeah. can't just ring him out at the very last second and be like. Here's your villain, because you didn't set it up at all. Yeah. Like, there's no tension. Because by that point, when they reveal it, we already know what's going to happen. We already know the animatronics are going to go against him. We didn't know exactly how, but we knew that, like, he felt... I, like, I think Springtrap was, was like, in this movie for literally, like, three minutes. Yeah, he was. Three minutes? Three, maybe four or five. Maybe. Maybe. You actually counted? I, I mean, I, I just felt the vibe. Yeah, and the other cause, two... Cause if he was him, in it for five, two minutes, he was just dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> there were two minutes That's actually if he true. was on for five the, the two of those minutes were him dying three of them were him as an actual threat three and honestly he was he barely felt like oh, a threat he honestly. Only, all he did was stab Vanessa and she lived she lived well, and also I don't really care about Vanessa no! I don't care about Vanessa because her character sucks. She did, she didn't make Abby a better person, which would have made us like inde like made us feel endeared to her. She was kind of she's kind of being an asshole yeah. to Mike. Like we didn't they, really they have her, a reason to care about her. They made her a throwaway her. character. The, literally, not yeah. really throwaway, but throw it's away, no, like, but I throw think away in the sense that like if they're gonna do something, no one's gonna care about what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had like if we, we had no reason to care about her. Character from the movie, I don't think it would have taken away anything. It would have changed it, the movie, but it wouldn't have made it. Worse no. necessarily. No, I, I think you're actually like uh, right about the um, the showing the the sides of the kids and their 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 feelings and the that that whole aspect of not making the animatronics scary. I yeah. think that it was sort of interesting in the movie. I think the first half, it it would have been more rewarding if the animatronics were actually scary and you actually you had actual horror in that's the first half. That's what I'm half. saying. Because okay. that's yeah. what you come to this movie. Four, I think at yeah, the first, first. Half, the first half should have been the scary part. The only threat that the animatronics had before the reveal that they they, they have a connection to Abby is uh, the the robbers. Who fucking cares? Just right? Who, fucking yeah, who cares? Make it. make Michael in trouble. Yeah, make exactly. Michael in trouble. Like yeah. actually, like because that's how it is in the games. Is like canonically, these things hate adults. Mm -hmm. Like they go after adults. So. Make like Michael, yeah. Make Michael in trouble. Give us some tension. Right. Like not actually one use the office like it is in the game. I was gonna right. say the first like we we talk about fan service. You know what would have been perfect fan service? Night one, he tries to sleep. He can't do it because he doesn't have sleeping pills. Okay, so he gets up, looks around, sees an animatronic, knocks. I don't know, like breaks something. Oh shit! 
runs back to the office, shuts the doors, and then does the fucking you know, plays the, the game. I don't want the whole movie to be him looking no, at a screen, it right? Him. It should have. And, th- and then, and then he's like, "Nope, never fucking going back again." He's like, "Oh, you're gonna lose custody of your fucking sister if you don't." Fuck, go back. Yeah, he's like, "I he... really need the money, so I have to go back." And the argument in court that like, I, I, I'm, I have a job, I can t- t- provide for her, and because yeah, Abby, I think was a great, was probably like one of the better parts of the movie, just because like it gave Michael a reason. Because like everyone's, cause I agree. Everyone, no, everyone, I agree with everyone's that. Everyone's like, why do they keep coming back to the same place? In the games, it's because Michael is going there to find his dad and fuck him up. In in the movie, it's because he needs to provide for Abby. That's yeah, I fun. like that. That was cool. No, yeah, I do like that. I think, but I feel like they more so leaned into the dream thing rather than like the actual custody thing. Like where they were like, he's going back to Freddy's because he wants to. That's figure cool out too. His I think dream. that was cool too. I think that was cool. But I didn't like that he just slept the whole time. Like, pretty yeah. much every night, it was just... He just slept the again, nights. Uh, yeah. Again, like, it doesn't have to be him looking at a screen the whole time. But even, like, the scene where um he wakes up from the dream, he's hurt, and then he has to kind of, like, escape. Like, something like that wasn't in the games, but that's, like, a creative, like, decent horror yeah. scene. They could have done more of that. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to be, like, him watching the screen, because that for, for an hour, that wouldn't play well. But no, they yeah. could have done something Fuck different no. than what they did. I think it was actually, like, a little too plot-heavy sometimes. It was plot-heavy to the point where, like, they, they, they couldn't actually, like, get, get tension going or I, anything. I, maybe, think, I don't know. Maybe, no, you maybe can, it you wasn't. Can raise, you can raise tension while moving a plot. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't too plot. I, I just think that... They just didn't raise the stakes because they didn't. They didn't give us time to care about anyone. Maybe you guys should have re- wrote the entire movie. Dude, we should we we write we write <laughs> the second one for free, undisclosed, and then we, we already did. <laughs> that is yeah, true. we did, dude. The tension of that movie was crazy. See, I was so scared for tension. Michael's life, <laughs> and it had a setup, you know, and a twist at the you're, very end. Because you're right. If if there was actual setup for the reveal of the animatronics, like being nice to yeah. to Abby, it would have. Because I didn't mind that. I just think the way it happened. No, yeah, because so I actually abrupt. think that makes a lot of sense. I think so. I don't mind it as a reveal or as a. As I a, don't think it made as much sense. Well, because, because first off, like, what is Abby's um, like connection to to the pizza? The pizza that's place? true. Because I understand why Michael. Well, why Michael has it because it's his brother. But like, and I get, I get it. You know, it's her brother too. But like, why does she have this fucking? I think connection? it's because the place has been shut down for years, and they haven't seen a kid in so long. That they just wanted someone no, new to No, but she had with. a psychic connection before Freddy's. Because that's, uh, that's, that's who true, her though. imaginary yeah, friends that's are. that's true. Like, it was yeah. long before this fucking movie Yeah, happened. they shouldn't have done that. That was so weird. It would no, make made more no sense. sense if, like... They could have tried to explain it, but they didn't. He had to take her there, and then, like, they were like, oh, it's another kid. Like, what if Gavin got fucking kidnapped at Freddy's? And he was one... Uh, yeah, like, why was Something. Some, like, Abby. random campsite in Nebraska? Like, that made no sense. That was yeah. so Also, wait, where did the movie take place? Do we know? Uh... Because, okay, okay no. let's, let's, let's assume it's not Nebraska, okay? Yeah. If it doesn't take place in Nebraska, like, so you're telling me that Michael Afton kidnapped this kid in Nebraska, brought him all the way to Freddy's, stuffed him in a golden suit, and then killed four more kids, and then... And then, ju- and then, just so happened, he goes to fucking that same place where the killer well, did is. Did he it's get like, stuffed, or like what happened to that kid? I, th- I mean, I, I think it's it's not implied at all that he's stuffed. They just are like I, yeah. I, I assumed he was because like that's kind of the natural like oh the fifth kid. Yeah, it feels yeah, like such a sequel setup yeah. thing. You know what I mean? But they didn't even tease it. At least that I saw. Well, they, they didn't I do saw. Shit with Gavin. I saw a screenshot from the movie. Like, if you brighten it up, it looks like the puppet from the second game. Okay, the but we're in a movie theater. Yeah, I know we're in a movie theater. Like, this ain't game theory here. Like, like I, I, get, I fuck with that in the games, and I get it. Like, you know, the whole point is to like analyze it. Like, come on, I'm in the movies. Like, I, I know. I right? want to. I, I want to be able to understand the game without having to go back through Peacock and be like, okay. Let me, yeah. let, frame let me by frame. Frame by frame. Yeah. Turn this shit up in Photoshop. Like, come on. Yeah, you also no. don't want to sit there and, like, have to, like, watch another YouTube video to see all the smaller details that you missed. I like, am you, okay with you that. Wanna, but you want to you wanna see some of the details for yourself while you're watching the yeah. movie. No, they, yeah, they should have like added supplementary details. They should have yes. added supplementary yeah. details in, like, the, the writing up stuff. That's fine. They but, should've. like, do give us some hint of what happened to Gavin like, and, and his connection to Freddy Fazbear's now. Yeah. You know, like, like <sighs> it's frustrating, but... Super frustrating, like super frustrating was, it, film. I, I guess, like for a final verdict, in my opinion, it was like 
it's a shame because like there was so much potential. I feel like the foundation they made was very creative and close enough to the FNAF series to like do it justice. There were, but yeah, it just didn't sure. build it build anything up properly. It didn't no. do pacing well. It's like I don't know. I no, I respect the core of the movie. I respected a lot of the ideas that they had. Um I liked the set design. I liked the design of the animatronics. Um, I thought the dream sequence idea was cool. Um, there were a lot of, I think, potentially really good things. But the pacing, the setup, the writing, the everything about the genre, it just, none of it yeah, worked. None of I it agree. worked. I agree. I felt like this movie didn't really add anything to the main story and i didn't really expect i'm okay it to. with that I'm, uh, yeah it should like, be i think it should be separate there's so I'm much okay shit in the, main, in, the, in the games like there's no point but i really don't feel like i don't mind them going in a different direction but they didn't really respect the source material that much it just kind of felt like a marvelified version of a horror movie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's like really like i i definitely agree with what everyone said it's like you in a sense it's very hard to be true to something when so many people love it mm-hmm. but you do also have to make it something that the fans would love no matter what age I mean, you are it was, no honestly, what stage you are in it was so, it's, uh, that, that, that's a it had big shoes to fill let's be real yeah it, it had really big it just feels like fill. a lot of wasted potential like i would have preferred it if it was more horror oriented but i don't mind that it was pg-13 like but at least like it didn't do anything with the fact that it was pg-13 yeah, the you pacing know? was super whack the tension was non-existent <sighs> vanessa's character Useless. But William I, Afton reveal. That sucks. She could have been so good. There, there was, there was stuff there. Even Michael didn't like, like. I liked that. I didn't mind, you know, like the him and Abby connection because I think that, like you said, gave it a narrative reason as to why he keeps coming back and keeps having to work. Yeah. And the dream as well wasn't bad. And there were setups, but if they just took more time to flesh them out, and really dig in, it could have been better. Yeah. No, I. I think that's you. I feel like everyone summed up everything we could, right? Yeah, I, I feel pretty good. I think so. Right, wait, next question. After we're done tearing it, wait, the fucking can pieces. I can I say this? What do you think the second plot line should be for the second movie if they made one? I don't know. Because they didn't. Did they yeah, set yeah, up a second movie well enough or no? Not. I mean, like, what do you think? I mean, like, they, they I left mean, it. They left it open. They left it open. open I think. I hate anywhere. when things are open ended. I mean, like the ending was fine, and then they they but like the setup was open ended, so it's fine. I don't. I, don't, I didn't really care. I, I assume Springtrap's like probably going to come back for the well, second movie. Well, he has movie. to. He has to. They set that up a little bit because he was, like, in the back room, like... He was, like, like yeah. spasm. Well, I feel like they set up to uh, where they could, like, all take new liberties in the, the new one, too, and, like, make their own storyline with the second one, too, considering how much they deviated in this one. Which yeah, I wouldn't I mind. mind I feel like it's it's definitely headed towards like, the direction. Yeah, the more they kind of, like, separate it from the actual games, I feel like... the Better. better. No, right. better. The way better. Like way better. They, they separate sure. it from the source material. For sure. I feel like it'd just be better. Right. Because well, then I I'd, the I feel like I'd really, personally, I feel like I'd be able to appreciate it more if it was further from the game. Oh, same. Right. For sure. Well, with the second one, I feel like there's less stakes. There's less that they feel like they have to, like, establish or, like, jam into it. Yeah. And if they take, like, maybe, like, more of a simple route with the second one, um, I feel like it could actually maybe be better. Like, I actually... Do more spring trap, please. Have somewhat of a hope for the second one let's hope they learned from the first one yeah i think they can sure. like like the writers are clearly like they clearly have great ideas they just need to they need they, they need to get some technical they stuff out of the way. yeah they need to i know this movie they went have, through they, a they lot it went through a lot they wanted to get it out really bad and it went through tons of rewrites yeah. tons of changes eight years i mean it it changed over from warner bros to blumhouse and i know blumhouse is a very competent studio oh for sure and they do have good ideas so just, I, if they do make a sequel, which I think they are, I'm hopeful that it can be better. It's just I having it more be. of a consensus. Uh, con, what's the word I want to use? Consistent idea. Yeah. Yeah. Of what you want to do, where you want to go, and making sure everyone's on board. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna uh, tier list the movie now. I wanna I wanna tier list every oh man everything that we uh, we do. But, okay. So here's a twist though. There's two twists. One that I stole from the yard. That's right. Oh yeah. And second one that um, I think is cool. We we all have to agree on it. What? Ooh, we gotta agree. We okay. can't have two different. We have one tier list. Well, I think we're on. probably not gonna agree. So, but maybe we could do like an average. But, 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 listen, listen. But, um, everyone is gonna have a one time, and this one time is once per year. You you can be like everyone else can go fuck themselves, and this is where I want to put it. <laughs> so if you are passionately that? against like what what we're going to put it, you can you can use your one time. 
Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, um, can I just mediate in this really yeah. quick? I feel like I can tell you where this is going, but I want to see what everyone thinks. <laughs> so, um, Me too. I, I, I don't have it set up right now. I'll probably put it in post. Um, but it's like the tears are <laughs> – let me read them out real quick. Bury me with this movie pretty gosh darn good. Yeah, so I, so I have a uh, I have a tier list made. Uh, I don't have the actual FNAF thing up, so we can't actually put it in yet. Frothing at the mouth. So is that like is that like F tier? That's S tier. Our S tier is frothing at the mouth. A tier is bury me with this movie. B is pretty gosh darn good. C is fine. Honk me 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 is 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 D. Bitter melon is a wild card where it's like it's not for us, but it's good. Uh, or it's, it's it's not it's not it's not for us, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, F tier is burn your copy, and then FF tier is rather be dead. Oh. I think you know where I want it to be. I thought I it was. I, I I would say it's low B high C. I'm going. Uh, oh. I'm going honk me me me. I got to yeah, I'm going that's, honk that's me me. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, scroll independent. down. Scroll down. I know where you're putting it, Sam. <laughs> scroll down real quick. Uh, down. scroll down more. <laughs> more. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Burn it. Damn, <laughs> what Ga- the fuck? Dunk it in gasoline and burn it. What the fuck? Burn your so copy. So where are we going with this? I thought it was fine. You know, maybe, maybe on a good day, I'd bump it up to Bitter Melon. Bitter Melon, it's good, for but not for you. Or yeah. like, it's because passable. Actually, well, I think it's that's serviceable. Your that implies that it's good. It's serviceable. It's serviceable well, is fine. <laughs> serviceable because other people obviously have found enjoyment right. in it, and yeah. they like, this, like the surface level Fuck other people. Stuff. What do you think? But for me, it just was not for me. So I don't know. I'd I thought it was fine. It I don't I think, think it was like actually. Actually, no. You know what? After this, the after the, the discussion, I'm I'm down to push it down to honk me, me, me. I don't think it's like burnable. I think there's way worse. No, I this. think it's. I think for me, it's bitter. It's bitter. Bitter and honk. I'm going honk me, I'm me, going me. Honk. Um. Majority rules. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I, we'll go low honk. We'll go low honk. We'll so when we have honk. other ones, it'll be on the bottom. Yeah, that's, that's, the what, I that's what I would say. Honk. That's what I would say. Sorry, people. So, so we, have, we have a consensus. So lo- low D tier. Yeah, okay. Low D. All right. I'll put that in later because oh, I don't have it set dude, up now. Wow. I saw, so the critics that's... on like Rotten Tomatoes, when I checked, it was like a 24%, but the audience was like nearly 90. That's Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens to a lot of stuff nowadays. It's like I know Marvel um, and other stuff, like critics will rate them really low. Really and then audience would be like either the same or higher. Yeah. I feel like yeah. usually the audience. I feel like it's very rare for the audience to like hate a movie more than the critics do. Uh, the movie I just saw, Killers of Flower Moon. Wait, really? It's like it's only like a few percent, but it is lower. Well, I mean, but yeah, I mean like really, really. Oh, listen. The reason the reason is because critics are fucking miserable. That's true. So, uh, true. You know, like uh, how like, uh, we were like, just uh, critiquing it. We're all very miserable. I'm definitely not one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no. And also, like, like audiences are are just like you know, like if something honestly, if something looks good, and like it sounds good, with it. you know, yeah. it'll, it'll get by. Hey, enjoy a movie, however you want to enjoy it. Just go fuck yourself if you like this movie. That's all we're saying. Fuck you. You know, That's what we're saying. We're very, we're being very passive. Back in spoiler territory, this movie was cheeks. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're out of spoiler territory. <laughs> that, was, that was barely a spoiler. <laughs> you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was good. Um, what, there was a few things we wanted to talk about before FNAF movie. What was it? It was how, this, uh, how the podcast started. That was one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Can yeah. I, yeah, you know the story. Go for it. Yeah. So. Our dear, dear friend Abby was with me and Lance, and we were writing. Oh, seven. We were writing a you. short film because Lance wanted to write a short film. About Henry's golf. balls. Yes. Um, and Lance oh. had this old mic in his room that didn't it's work. Still, it's it's not there anymore, but the, the, that's the mic stand. Yeah. So oh. he, he used to have this mic that went in there, and I kept joking around and around about how oh we should do a podcast. Actually, no, you made one joke. Well, about I, made, it. I made one joke. I thought I made multiple. You so made one. Every time Lance did something, I was kind of narrating it. Yeah. And I thought really we should fun. do a podcast. Bro, Literally, I really like on the drive home. I Lance hopped was like, on it. Let's go do a podcast now. I hopped on that bitch. <laughs> a <laughs> lot of like, it was so fun because like, I've I've been wanting to start a podcast for a while because I think I'm like award winningly funny and award winningly humble. Um, I'll give clearly. you an award. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> oh, kind of award. I regret saying that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I, and it, dude, this podcast went through uh, what's it called? Uh, de- de- development hell. Is yeah. what we called it. Development hell. Because. Um, we originally were the, the budget for this was like 400 bucks because I was going to buy one like mic set of four 
and then one like kind of shitty audio board and then use cameras from the school but like the cameras from the school you have to get a professor's permission plus they didn't record for long enough and then like the mics were kind of shit and the board was kind of shit and i'm not going to say how much i spent because like i'd feel weird if i did Mm -hmm. but i spent a pretty penny on this on this uh podcast and it was totally worth it it was totally worth it hell beautiful yeah but no, it's good. I remember when you first called me. Hey, you want to be on a podcast? I was yeah. in my living room. The funny thing yeah? is, you were yeah. trying to decide on people. Yeah, right? we were. And we're talking we about were the like, people. okay, who's this person? I was like, I think who brought up Adam? I did. Yeah, you brought my up Adam. Goat. Oh. You're my goat. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Uh, for, for little of me. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Actually, you should have because I'm saving this podcast. Yeah, because you saved podcasts because you brought a fourth member in. I did. Hell. If it weren't for me, That's you wouldn't true. have him. Yeah. True. That's true. It was a tactical decision. But no, a lot of the, a lot of like the big projects I've worked on have been like completely fucking like off the cuff. Like a while ago, I ran this event called Interovite because uh, there's this popular Rainbow Six caster named Intero, and um, there's this meme going around of a. Uh, there, there. What is that? Oh, it's there, just the the thing to my mask. But no, like there's this meme going around where people would like translate his tweets into different languages because like oh wait i think you told me about yeah this. i did because because the first thing they're putting the mask on by the way oh yeah it's gonna you, you're gonna if you want to talk you're gonna have to take that off i'm not gonna be able to hear you you can hear me <laughs> i fucking yeah. hear you guys. Yeah. um pumpkin discrimination <laughs> <laughs> okay let me finish my damn story um and uh people were translating his tweets into different languages and the first one was Spanish, and he genuinely wanted to translate his tweets out of, like, you know, accessibility. Mm-hmm. And everyone else started doing it as a joke. And I did one out of, like, Intero... I called it Intero Cipher. And it was uh, the Caesar Cipher, where you move the letters three letters back. Mm-hmm. Um, and someone made a big-ass group chat and on Twitter. And they, people are talking, and... By the way, people thought those accounts were bots. People did it manually. There were oh. no bots, as far That's as I'm aware. Crazy, I, I did my shit manually. Um... And in this group chat, someone's like, hey, it'd be kind of funny if we had a tournament between all the Interos, right? Ha ha, yeah. I'm like, yes, it would be funny. Four days later, we have a community tournament ready. Oh my god. Filled, Four days later? Filled with, like, graphics and art, and I planned all this shit. I, I think, literally, my credit, I did so much shit for this. I'm, I'm going to gas myself up a bit. I think my credit was, like, host, producer, observer, um, fucking... Like, like, art director. <laughs> like, I directed, like, everything there. We, d- oh, yeah. we literally did everything in four days. It was insane. Because we had to do it fast because it was based off of a meme. If we waited a week, which people wanted to do, it dies. No one watches. <laughs> so, like, we got to do it now. And yeah. we did it now. So it was, it was a good time. That's Actually, awesome. Actually, speaking of tournaments, can we talk about Nintendo again? Okay. And okay. Nintendo cringe. What happened this week? Am I behind? Uh... I'm you haven't heard? Behind. Wait, I might have heard. This it. mask smells like kabasi and like sauerkraut. <laughs> I love kabasi. It's so good, right? It's one of my favorite. Wait, pass, pass, never pass. had it. Pass, wait, pass. Kabasi? No, never, Bro! never had it. Oh my goodness, that what do you? Wait, what is it? Um, is is kabasi like a Polish thing? I don't know. It's a sausage. I've never even You've heard of it. Never it's had yummy. it. No. It what is my very God. delicious. Kabasi, so kibossi. good. I used to have kabasi and pierogies all the time. How did you pronounce it? Pierogies. Okay. I know that the corrective is like Prohogi. Prohogi. Wait, wait, uh, we're, we're talking about. Uh, oh, yeah, so. Was it Ludwig? Uh, no. no. This okay. is about Nintendo releasing new guidelines regarding uh, esports tournaments. Oh, yeah, I read this, yeah. And the Smash community has been up in arms again because the restrictions are really, really, really strict. Pretty dog shit. Really strict. Um, like, for example. You can't have sponsors at your tournament. There are caps uh, to the amount of people that could be at a tournament, like a 200 in person, 300 online. You can't Why go above that. Why would you that. make a cap on that? Yeah. There's also you can't serve food or beverage at the. You have to if you get any like. Uh, I don't remember all of them, but there was one where it was like having to give money back to spectators and only being able to charge spectators certain amounts. A lot of very extremely strict There's going to be a guidelines. lot of pushback. Is there a lot there of pushback? Was, There's yeah. been a lot of pushback. I mean, pushback. why would you say only, like, in total 300 people? I don't know. Like That makes no sense. It's so... So, some of the takes that I heard 
it's because Nintendo doesn't necessarily plan on enforcing them unless they want to. Like, they put these guidelines in place just so they could shut down any tournament that they Bro. felt like. So wait, you could have a thousand people come to your event and Nintendo won't oh, shut it down. Oh, Nintendo could shut it down. Yeah. If but if they, if, they, if they, you could have a thousand people come and they p- might not yeah. do anything. So you're gambling. You're, you're gambling. It's like Russian roulette. You know? You never know if Nintendo will just be like, no. Japanese nope, roulette. Can't do it. Let me actually look at some of the guidelines. They were no, insane. The, no, the biggest one was the, the, pay, the prize pool. Yeah. $5,000 cap. For, like, you cannot you cannot give out more than $5,000 to winners. Why? That is so cringe. <laughs> wow. Like, Ty, you tell me. I don't so, know. So what, do you do, what, if, what if you do if you go over? Like, get shot in the head with a gun? I don't know. Uh, Nintendo, can, Nintendo can legally shut you down. Yeah. It's so... Why? A lot of video Stay game... A lot, no, a lot of video game companies have just been... They're just terrible. Yeah, no prize may exceed a market value of 5,000 US dollars. Oh, you can't even give it prizes. You can only like, charge can't it, like, cars spectators a, like, max. a max of $15. Um, okay. And the the fees that you get from spectators can only go towards, like, um, I think prize pools? What? I don't... Wait. Admission fees collected from spectators must be used solely for the purpose of covering costs of organizing the tournament and, oh, not towards prize pools. So you can't use... So that means prize pools have to come out of your own wallet, pretty oh, much. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you're also not allowed to make more than ten grand or something? Yeah, something like that. Uh, like, like, there's a cap on how much money you can make, and Nintendo's not even stealing it. It's like, why? Yeah, no, you just can't do it. At that it. point, you, you, have, you can steal the money. Like, okay, don't do that. But at least it would make sense if they're like... If you, make, if you make more than 10 grand, you have to give the rest to us. It's like, okay, fuck you, but like, I, I, at least I understand why they're doing it. Not understand in, in, in an empathetic way, but I understand like so, on a logical way they want more money. They don't even take it. They just shut you down. It's yeah. like, Nintendo come on. dictatorship. Every time you hit mm. this, this thing goes kind of like... He gets closer. <laughs> he, he wants to be part of the pod, too. Can you give him a name? We have a little uh, skeleton guy on, on behind us on the Skelly. flag. Skelly. Skelly? Mr. No, Skelly? Skelly uh, Bones. No, he's like too unique for that. <laughs> He's quirky. He's quirky. Um, um Bradley. Mm, no. Randall. No. Randall Bradcliffe. No. Randall. Yes. Bradcliffe. Randall. 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 Randall the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. How'd you get the last part? Dude, I. He's creative genius. Wow. I, I that was it must have taken some serious mental power. Oh yeah. Okay, Randall. It is. This guy's a little. This guy, Randall. This guy's, this guy's a little freaky. Uh, like, Let's can go. you can you respect my physical boundaries? <laughs> Well, he's lanky. He's, a he's got handsy, long legs. Yeah. yeah, little handsy, hands-on kind of guy. Little oh, handsy. Oh, oh. That's his name. Handsy. Little handsy. Hey, little handsy. That's his rapper. So he's a rapper. Yeah. yeah, little handsy. That's his rapper name. So we're we gonna give him a song now. <gasps> Bro, that'd be so fucking. Fun. <laughs> that'd be fire. <laughs> that would be. No, can we do that? Hey, they call me a little handsy. Yeah. Uh, you bitch, a little pansy. Hey, <laughs> you gotta put hey. that over like a glor beat. <laughs> 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 that would go so hard. That would go so hard. Okay, there's very few things that rhyme with handsy. Handsy, manzy, Mandy, handsy, handy. A fuck a bitch named Mandy. Yeah, named Mandy. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, call hey, me, hey, call hey. me Handy Mandy. They call you Handy no. Mandy. Yeah. The way I be. That is fire. The beaches they be sandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! All We're right, making it out of the squabble. We're incriminating We're ourselves. We're, We're incriminating ourselves. <laughs> It, oh. it, it's so it's criminally bad that yeah. the police can use this in court. Like, criminally bad, your, your honor. These guys are criminally not funny. <laughs> we need to tell them about. Um, we need to tell them about. Did you finish your lunch? The text you got. I didn't know. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? We went to. Me and Adam got lunch uh, to talk about some stuff, and um, we he randomly get a. He gets a fucking text called like, "Did you finish your lunch?" At first, I thought because there was a guy going around asking, asking for, for numbers, numbers for, for like for work else, yeah. or whatever. So I just gave him my number, and I thought it was from him, but it wasn't. It was a random number. You want me to pull it up? Yeah, pull it up. <laughs> okay. Later, send the photo so I can pull it up on the computer. I should have, uh, pull a it similar somehow. thing happened to me too. Like some random number okay. texts me saying, "Hey, are you home?" Or I met left dinner in the fridge or something like that. I love when I get random numbers. I haven't got one in a while. So oh, remember the one we do got? You remember? Yeah, I want to let me. Let's talk about that one after. Okay, this. okay. So, that one was super funny. So I get this text from this random number saying, "Good afternoon. Have you finished your lunch?" And it's like the perfect punctuation. 
And I said, I did, it was so good. And I sent a picture of Lance's like disgusting, like empty. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> food. This is mac Wait, and did cheese. They like, back? No, it was like so foul. And they and I sent it at and they never responded back. Okay, this is the one this is the one random text I've ever gotten, okay? <laughs> let me see wait, let me see that, let me see that. It should it's I can't put it up. <laughs> I can't put it up. Oh. On the screen. I'm, I'm so should I, I, should, I should respond. Respond. She, respond yes. Right now. No, she sent this. She said uh, she is probably a bot, but I got sent this April 13, 2022. Oh, wow. Yeah, respond I'm down. right now. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so oh fucking cool. Wait, hold on. I'm she responds immediately. And then, and, then we, and then we get married. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, she responds now. We're going to have to make the podcast longer for this. Um, <laughs> but, we uh, might. Um, also, there was something that I learned about a few, uh, like, like, this Tuesday. There's something called virtual product placement, and it's starting up. It's a little scary. Wait, what is Ew. it? Oh. You guys know what product placement is in, like, in a movie? No. It's like, virtual it's like, product it's like, you, you put, like, a water bottle in a movie with, like, a... And you get paid to, like, put the... Like, the like the thing in. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So like, it's that like a terrible. thing that doesn't make sense. Well, no, well, it doesn't have to make not not make sense. Like but the they're the eating a candy. candy. They're eating candy. It's a it's a Kit Kat. Kit Kat paid. To oh, put a Kit okay. Kat in that scene. So it's like sponsoring. That. Yeah, but they're gonna put giant Coke ads in the sky. There's gonna be a McDonald's ad in the sky. It's gonna be a drone well, McDonald's. That'd be so ad. That's already a thing. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> like, they used yeah. um they used Loki in season two. They used McDonald's. No, but no. But it was part of the plot. There's something called ads. There's something called virtual product placement. Really? Ver- that so that, let's say you have a water bottle, right? And if if it's like an American brand, you're not like if if someone from China watches the movie, they don't give a shit. But now what they're doing with AI is that you can replace that water bottle with any kind of brand, so it can appeal to anyone that watches the movie. Well, so they, like, wh- wh- whatever whatever is the most effective to like but to, wow. to market to you. They do that, it's scary as fuck. They do scary. that a lot in other films. Like I know in Inside Out, they changed the food that Riley didn't like for other countries. Yeah, but that. Like, that, but yeah, like that to, makes sense. to appeal to like the where it's, where the film yeah. was like mm. in um they also did in Zootopia where they changed the animals for the host on TV. I, I, I didn't know that. A, That's cool. They changed the animals to appeal, so I think it's like a way to appeal to. No, other... No, but I'm saying like, the, like this is marketing. This is not like yeah. this is not an appeal yeah, thing. Yeah, no. It's like they'll tr- they take your data, see what what would be most effective to you, and then change what what brand you see. The which appeal is, thing is cool. Oh wow, yeah. that's, that's the actually, marketing. That's is actually not... more scary when you explain it that way. Yeah, like, like, that's yeah. That's really, really weird. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm getting into marketing because I'm, I'm taking a marketing minor and like I, I learned about that and like that's a little that's weird. Is that it not? Is, that is. Yeah, really no, weird. for oh. sure. Well, companies just want more money. Everyone wants more money. Oh yeah, everyone's bagging up, bro. I want more money. But I also, want more money. <laughs> exactly. How much money they actually spend on it just to get it in there? Ooh yeah. They could spend billions. I know for the Super Bowl commercials, they spent billions of dollars. Yeah, for like a thirty-second commercial, yeah. it's just like Jimmy B's got. And there's no blood. good ones anymore. Um, no. Jimmy Beast was in one. Popcorners. Jimmy Beast. Pop- Jimmy Popcorners. That was Say a good one. their name. name. Say their name. Popcorners. Uh, tight, 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 tight. We're going to eat a lot of snacks together. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh, my God. Can we go back real quick to random okay. messages? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't show mine. Because, yeah, I have, I have a story, too. Oh, is this the dog? So, no, this is... I think you're thinking of the right thing, but there's no dog. So, okay. one night, January 27th, at 12.17 a.m., I get this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cat. Okay. It's a, guy, it's a guy and his cat. And he says, messing with me and Nemo, or Nemo. I'm like, I'm like, Adam, I just got a random text. What do I do? And he's like, play along. And we're like, <laughs> all right. So I said, oh, speaking of Nemo, I'm planning on bringing home a cat that looks just like him. And he's like, nice. I love Nimmo. Probably the best cat I've ever had. How old is he now? One year. Oh, my God. Same as my son. (laughs) That's adorable. Glad you two are having fun. Because we were wondering, like, who is this Uh, person's messenger? So, like, what is he going to do if I say I have a son? Right. Like, who is he talking to? It's like, we were till I was interrupted. Oh, no. What happened? Dan calling me. Just messing with you. Go to bed. We talk tomorrow. <sighs> Sounds good to me. Have a good night. And I'm like, dude, Adam, I kind of feel guilty for this. Like, I don't... Cause what, <laughs> what the idea it? I was you... cooking up in my head was like, this dude went out a, on a date yeah. with some girl, and she gave him the wrong number That's on what purpose. we think so probably I was like, happened. Dude, I feel like an asshole if I just lead this guy on. 
So I text him, hey, bro, I'm going to be real with you. I was just playing before. I think you got the wrong number, dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, I do got a son, though, but he's two. <laughs> Okay, and then we he's still like, quote that. We still quote that. He's like, he just says sorry. And I'm like, I'm like, it's all good, this bro. This guy's a saint. I'm like, it's all good, bro. You want to talk about it? Never got another <laughs> ne message never. ever. This guy's fucking Pope Francis. Holy shit! It was so, it was so good. We felt so bad though. I do got to son. I though, do but got to too. son, but he's too. <laughs> but I was like, he's not giving much to work with. He's like, I'm like, I have a son, and he's like. Yeah, Dan's calling me. I'm like, <laughs> what? So, it yeah, was so I, that's, funny. that's the more. Okay. I think. This person that I got from was like, hello, are you free tonight? Like, you can read the rest. It's really funny. It's really funny. I and then they, some they bourbon apologize. and steak at home. What is this? What is this? I'm Melissa. This is Daisy's number? No, sorry. Wrong number. Oh, God. I was in a hurry to leave and I accidentally typed the wrong number. Please forgive this girl's clumsiness. She's like fucking asking the Lord to forgive her. <laughs> she goes. She goes to confession like... Please <laughs> repent, but repent, the, but the repent. Funny thing is I feel Father, like, I have sinned. Like I asked, and like they were like, "Yeah, like how can you type the wrong number? Like per you must have had the person's number in your phone." Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, doesn't she have was like a, a contact? Yeah, because the way they were like texted, it was like, "Hey, she wanted like, you. I have like <laughs> she wanted you like, for real." I have one more have that one I'm gonna more? try to find in July. Yeah, gotta wrap I was this up. We're going. We're going long. Oh my so god! Last, last one. Last one. Last one. But yeah, that one was super funny. Um, I, I did have one more thing I wanted to bring up, and it was uh, I got this job offer on fucking like Indeed or something. Oh, what was the job offer? It was it was an editing job for like, uh, it, it, yeah, it was, it was a remote it was a remote editing job, and it was cool. I've been looking for editing jobs, or whatever, and I'm like I'm looking at the like the the contract. It expects, I think, eighty hours. 80 hours? This Whoa. job is asking me what? for 80 hours. Wait, most week. work weeks are about 40, right? 80 or 40 hours. 40 to 45 that hours, right? That is a lot. By the way, I'm looking for a part-time job, not a fucking full-time. It's asking for 80 not hours. Full -time. 80 hours? What? You have no life at that and point. It would, and yeah. I, and it said um, per day, I'd be, making I'd be making $60 a day. Five dollars an hour, baby! Five dollars an like hour! Wait, 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 that sounds like hell. It sounds like the worst job ever conceived. What is it? What would you be doing? I, it's an editing. It's an editing job. But like, I feel like five dollars an hour. More. Are you serious? Yeah, because they're like, they're like, bro, we got a, we got a sick deal for you. I, we've seen your shit. I think you're great. Okay, so eighty dollars an. Uh, so, all right, so eighty hours a week. I know you said part time, but eight, here is eighty, eight, eight, eighty hours, and then sixty bucks a day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? That's below that's minimum wage. Wow. That's, like, like, that's like that's three. way below minimum wage. That's, 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 that's divided by three. That was maybe can minimum I, wage in 1990. <laughs> like, <laughs> can, can what? I it's like, no, that makes no sense. If you're going to ask me for 80 hours so a week, funny. you need to be paying me like over $100 an hour. Yeah, a day. what the hell? Over $100 a day. It's, like, it's, it's, what, what's no, the minimum like wage in Jersey? What's the minimum wage? 15. 15. 15. Yeah. I once worked a job for nine. <laughs> yeah, really? What did you do? Yeah. Wait, I, I, worked Are you sure? uh, 15? I worked at a country club. They, uh, really, a country and club? Co yeah, it wasn't great. Nine dollars an nine dollars an hour. Well, it was kind of like a, a family thing. Fuck it wasn't them. Really yeah, well, that's where I left. <laughs> and Jesus. then I worked at Kohl's, and I only got like eleven dollars. I an thought hour New there. Jersey minimum was thirteen. That's fifteen. So, or the, it's getting, so oh, it's it's fourteen. It's fourteen. It's, 14. it's fourteen right now. They're gonna keep raising until they until fifteen. Until fifteen. It's like every oh. year until fifteen. But if you guys didn't know this, if you work a seasonal job, they don't have to pay you minimum wage. Wow, really? Now I don't have to do my job. So bitch. my Hell, friend, my, one of my close friends, we were talking about this and like, no, 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 like that's illegal. They can't pay you under minimum wage. And like, yeah, they can be because you're not working for them full time. If you're working for them full time for more than a certain amount of weeks, they have to pay you minimum wage hmm. or about minimum oh, wage. I didn't know that. I didn't know they wow. And you also get paid less if you're 16 or un under. So like you can get paid less than minimum wage if you're 16 or younger, I believe. L.
Yikes. That's what you get for Major being, L. That's what you get for being child labor. A minor. That's what you get for being a child. Fucking dumbass. Stupid Lance's ass. hate for children. Hate that's kids. why you loved the FNAF movie. You just hate kids. <laughs> yeah, that's why I had, bro. I had to go 2 p.m. If I went at 6, I would have shot myself. You hated it. Oh, you dude, absolutely it was terrible. Terrible. I will say it's another reason why they do um, under minimum wage for people under 16. I believe it's because they can, only, they can only work a certain amount of hours a week. And they have a certain amount of time they need a break. Yeah. So that's on. why they do it. And they're back to mass. Put it on, baby. We're ending the pod with this. Woo! Yeah, ending the pod with this. They're putting their mask back on. They're wow, back they, on. they look way better. I guess they oh, can yeah. now. The mask is on. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. This Thanks is this for is, watching. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is our first like. <laughs> I'm trying to. All right. This is one of our first fucking. Uh, what's it called? Like movie movie reviews. Felt it pretty was? good. I think it went We're gonna good. have a lot more. That's yeah. Next time we will we'll have a lot more movie Take videos. your mask. I'm gonna talk. Oh, you dumb bitch. We will have a lot more movie reviews. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have more positive. I want to watch. Uh, Ar- have you seen Argyle? No. It's a no. good trailer. It's coming out February Wait, 20- what is it about? 24. I will. I will. It's like an assassin movie. Can I joke cool. about this? Okay. I know already what one movie is gonna be rated. What? I already know what one movie is gonna be rated. What your movie? It's your favorite movie. Oh, well, okay, no, I'm making its own tier. <laughs> the fuck? It's it's not going to be there. I'm making it everything Ooh. everywhere all at once tier. I'm, I, okay, I'm Wait, you're making it own tier? Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm super it's my ready show. to see this. I yeah, really want to see it. The fact that you've it. never seen it is kind of funny. And We're going to get there. We'll get there. Oh, we'll, we'll get watch there. it. We're going to watch it's it. It's amazing. I just, I don't know if I could watch it for a fourth time. Mm, and just yeah. shatter. I mean, I watch it five. It'll be six. Lance will cry either I, way I might, again. Uh, yeah. it'll, it'll be six. It'll be six. Yeah, I'm getting the kind of vibes. I feel like uh, it could be maybe a haunt Mimi Mir. I'll kill you in your sleep. Melon. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna <laughs> tell this guy to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. 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 Hope you get lots of uh, not Twizzlers. Fuck Twizzlers. Oh my God! Such an L. <laughs>